FosTube. Hi FosTube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep Stitching StitchCon Thank You Card Edition. Good job, Pam. I really tried hard. You did really well. I'm very impressed. So we're back, as promised. Right. Um, this is a video about all the gifts, and I mean all the gifts, that we were given so graciously given so graciously given um by people who were at stitchcon last weekend correct um we could not do it justice without making a special video right all about it right and if right. this is not your cup of tea That's move cool on too. uh but uh, I feel very strongly that these people need to be thanked publicly. Yes. And I think you would like to see some of the things that people gave us. Yeah. If I'm wrong, again, so sorry, be it. Sorry, not sorry. So be it. Um, because a lot of these people are makers. Yes. And so if you see something that you like. And you might get an idea. You might say, I want to check out their stuff. Right. Or that's cool or whatever. And this puts absolutely no guilt or... Or bad feeling on anybody who didn't bring us anything. Yeah. Please, please, please do not take this the wrong way. But there were so many people who um, who liked getting our reaction to things. Right. And um, it was fun. It was super fun. Some it of these things were them. simply um, set at our at our tables, in our chairs, around yep. us. Mm -hmm. And um, if not... if but for cards, you know, we, we would have no idea. We would have no idea who they were from. Right. Um, and speaking of that, mm. um, okay, so what happened yesterday when we recorded the video that's already been uploaded that you all have enjoyed already um, is we had actually, like, started to record part of this video, not realizing that we were going to make a second video. And then about a third of the way through, right. we were like, we need to make a second video. Yeah. And so... We're going to put those clips after this introduction. Right. But first, we need to say that there's going to be a portion, that a little, one of the gifts that we showed that we were like, we don't know who the, who it came from, that we now know who it came from. Yeah. Because we were watching some other uh, StitchCon video, and someone else had received Helps. something similar. Helps. And I was like, that's who those are from. Right. Marissa. Marissa. <coughs> You're a weasel. I yeah. love you. Yeah. Um, but so we show these lovely uh, yeah. needle threaders. And this is Pam's needle minder from Marissa right. and her mother. Right. And who's a Katie and Stitcher on Instagram. Right. And um, so we can move so those. So this came from. Um, into the pile. Marissa of, and her mom. Yes. Yeah, so we can move those into. I'm running out of paper. Um, into the list. What does that say? Of. Yeah. Um, Identified gifts. Yes. Credited so, gifts. She gave us um, some Canadian candy. Yeah. And um, needle minders and things. Yeah. And speaking of Canadian candy, uh, we got a lot of food gifts. We did. Um, and um, it's all eaten. we're not going to. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, we're not going to show those. Um, if we think of it, um, we'll inter, uh, intersperse those. Right. Um, but before we get going on um, everything that is surrounding us here, can we talk about these shirts? Yeah. Because it, these are really cool, you guys. You guys. So, um, you have heard us talk about Kia B quilting on YouTube. Yes. Um, this is Kia and her husband, husband? tech guy. Nathan. This otherwise Nathan. known as Nathan. And they live in Indiana, mm -hmm. and they basically started as a quilting tutorial YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. They have a huge following huge. during StitchCon in which they were participating. Mm -hmm. They passed 20,000, as in two zero people. Holy crap. 20,000 subscribers. So they have a huge following, and yes. we have become very good friends with them, and we love them dearly. Yes. And they're lovely family. They're beautiful children. And... Um, Kia had quizzed Steph. Yeah, so she texted me maybe like a week and a half before StitchCon. Yeah. And she was like, I feel like the term hashtag obviously dud needs to be put on a t-shirt. 
And I was like, I would die if that happened. And yeah. she was like, I think I know somebody that can do it. Wink face. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love you. I love you. And then maybe like three days later, she texts me back and she was like, okay, so I have the t-shirts, but I want to know if there's something else that you would rather have on a t-shirt as opposed to that. And I was like, what about happy finishes, everybody? Or everyone? And maybe a bell. And she was like... She loved the bell idea. She's like, amazing. I'm on it. All over it. So she like, sent us two or three examples, line drawings, yes. that she could go by for her, um, I cricket. guess... Cricket. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And um, so we told her which one we liked. Mm -hmm. And ta-da! Happy finishes, finishes everyone. everyone. So... Uh, we wore these at StitchCon, and we have them on yes. today, and we Tomorrow love we them. They are so comfortable. Yeah, these are the brand of shirt that um, Hobby Lobby sells. Yeah. And um, so... They're super comfortable. They're amazing. Yeah. So thank you, so Kia. So thank you, Kia. We love them. You know we love you. Yes, and there's other wonderful gifts from Kia in <coughs> these boxes that we will get to. Pardon me. So what we're going to do now is we are going to send you over to, uh, not send you, you don't have to go anywhere. It yes, will automatically put. play. Don't move. <laughs> um, and so we're going to insert the videos um, that we had recorded yesterday where we started talking about all of our wonderful gifts, and then we will pick up where we left off after. So you, know, you, you might be confused because we're going to be in the clothes you saw us in yesterday. Yeah. But we weren't going to re-record all this yeah. stuff because no. And we wanted to wear different clothes today. Correct, because we are clean people. Yeah. <laughs> Clothes-wise. Clothes. <laughs> okay. okay. So. So we're going to stop this now and then we'll insert the videos and then we'll it'll come. All, it'll all flop. Just keep watching. You don't have to move an inch. Right. Just, just keep stitching. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. See what I did there? Okay. So then we'll be back when we will continue with our parade of fabulous yeah skits. see you in a minute okay so we're gonna get the embarrassing things out of the way right um and so what the embarrassing things are are the things that when we finally were able to come home and go through all of our stuff we have no clue who these are from yeah so we feel terrible I'm really sorry because i really wish i remember i rem some of these like i remember having a conversation with you about the about it so if if you did give us these Please tell us. Please tell us. So we can thank you properly. Because I have a list going. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So. We're going to thank you beyond this video. So we need to know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these. Okay. This is how they were packaged. was in this cute little bag. Like that. Okay. And. Um, they're pins. Yep. And from Yoni's One of a Kind on Facebook. Yep. Original handcrafted jewelry. Yep. And mine is Wizard of Oz. Mm hmm Duh. And mine is Happy Fourth of July. Which is perfect. Yep. So thank you very much. And yes. if you gave us those, please comment below. Yes. So we know. Please comment below. Because we want to thank you we would We would love to thank you. Okay. And then next, our... There's needle minders in them. Are these super freaking cute pouches? We each got one. I remember talking to you. I know. Sometimes it's killing us because we can't remember. And you said, I should have embroidered Pam and Steph on them because they're like, that would have been really funny. Um, and is this mine or yours? Oh, this is yours. And then there was amazing stuff inside of here, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like a lighthouse needle minder in a little purple bag, mm -hmm. and a pair of scissors with a lighthouse scissor fob in a purple bag. So cute. Please tell us if these are from you. And a Wizard of Oz needle minder for me, which you can't really, there you go. Yeah. And then these awesome black stork yeah. scissors with a freaking cat charm on the so bottom. So, I would say these are hedgehogs. I would, I would dare say that they're hedgehogs Hedgehog as well. Hedgehog pouches. Are these from you? Please tell us. Please. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. There's only two other small things that we don't know where they came from. Okay. That is yours. I think that that was supposed to be for you. Mm hmm Okay. And Pam, you remember opening it, don't I you? I remember someone handing this to me. Was it Little One? I don't know. Okay. But look at this cute little ornament with the sailboat on it and the anchor on the other side. It's so cute. 
It might have been from Little One. Oh, gosh. Please tell me. Yes. Help. Please tell me if that was you. Yes. Because it's sweet as sweet as can be. It's very cute. Okay. It's going to go on our tree. Right. We know that one. Right. Um, okay. And then um, last, but certainly not least, in the pile of unknown gifts, um, we Pam and I both got a bag like this. Mm -hmm. Pam's was, this is Pam's bag, I think. Yep. And inside of it was some Canadian candy. So we know it was from a Canadian. Yeah. Okay. So, so that whittles it down. We got that far. So we took all the food products and put them in the kitchen. So we're not going to be showing right. food in the video. But um, we each got this lovely set. Right. So there was a needle minder for each of us. Mine is cats. Obviously, duh. Right. Mine is nautical. Obviously, duh. Uh-huh. And then we got a threader. Yep. With another little Canadian maple leaf. So know, we're assuming that you're Canadian. Yeah. So we got to believe you're Canadian. Yes. So, so please tell us. And there was candy in there. Yes. There was some, or what do they call them, Smarties? But they're the Canadian Smarties. Which is like M&M's. Right. Yes. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Then from Patricia. Right. She gave us these lovely cards. Oh, these with are amazing. Stitching on the front of them. Right. And lovely notes on the inside. Right. Mine is Simon's cat. Right. And look at this lighthouse. Isn't that beautiful? Obsessed. This is, this is cross stitched. Yeah. Cross -stitched. On this card. Yep. With a message inside. Very sweet. Very, very sweet, Patricia. We'll figure out how to preserve those. Yeah. So we might um, give them either to Barbara or. Jan and have them make smalls out of them yeah. so we can preserve them. Right. And then, um, that Pam, you got a couple birthday cards. Yep. Yep. And the then, it was just before. Yep. And then, um, Kathy gave us this lovely hands all right, hands across the sampler card. Right. And, um, a gift inside. Yes. So, Thank you all for those. Yes. Okay. What night did I get that? The tower. The tower. Yeah, I think that that was Saturday night. The tower. I'm blanking out. Okay. Tower. Okay. So one night late in the late night sitting room, I go over and I'm just setting my stuff down, talking to people. No big deal. No big deal at all. And then in walks Jane. And she's carrying with her. Oh, oh. And this is what she's carrying with her. And oh, I'm going to insert a I photo. I was calling it a tower. I would call it a candy bouquet. Oh, okay. Well, I was trying to be elusive with the word tower, but that's okay. So I'm going to insert a picture of what it looks like here. here. Is that amazing or what? Okay. Candy freaking tower bouquet thing yeah and it was on right this green tray which right so i deconstructed the tower yeah or the bouquet or whatever we have heck. all the candy right all of it um i might have eaten one or two pieces and then this one and lovely lovely card yeah thank you jane jane and yes. so i really want to finish a cross stitch i almost lost a second pen oh now she has two now i have two pens um but I might just... You know, that tray thing. might come in handy. Come in handy, you know? Absolutely. You know? Right. All right. Next is our pile of pile of project bags. Pile. Okay. These, I know that you handed them to me when I was selling raffle tickets in the back of the room. But, for the life of me, I don't remember who it was. And I looked and I searched and I looked and I searched and I couldn't find a note anywhere in these bags... But they're two project bags made for Pam and I. And this is mine. With this awesome fabric on the top. That says things like, Meow is like aloha. It can mean anything. Dogs eat, cats dine. Cats are glorious creatures. It's really, really cute. With the pom pom things. There's, it's very cute. Very well made. I love this fabric so much. And yours is? And this is mine. <laughs> With a zipper pull of a bunch of grapes. Yes, those are glasses of wine. Yes. Look at that. Beautiful. 
So we would love to thank you. Yes, we would. Please, please alert us as to who you are. Yes, they can. Because they're beautiful. Uh-huh. They're beautiful. All right, folks. Okay. Hold on. I have a list. Hold, please. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Because I wrote down who they came from, but where's the... Wait a minute. Oh, I wrote it on here. There it is. Sue! Sue, who we've been calling the rest last name Sue wrong. Chimino. 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 Sue Chimino, who is originally from Canada. She lives yes. in Texas now. So confused the heck out of me because Pam was like, these are from Sue. And I was like, no, they're not. She's from Texas. Yeah. So she made us lovely project bags. And mine has got Canadian newspapers on this side and maple leaves on the others. Mm -hmm. And she gave, um, she, in one of the things inside mine... Um, is these lovely little tags, yeah, mine and too. they're they're going to be great to label project bags. What's inside the project bag? Uh -huh. So isn't that clever? Very and clever. this um, portable um, drawstring sack that you can mm -hmm. refold up into a little pouch. That's be great to go to the Netherlands with. So, I know. Yeah, and then you people are going to die. Look at this project bag that Sue, for, for the life of me, I thought her name was Sue Simino. We were calling her Sue Simino the whole time, but we know it's Chimino. We know better now. Look at that. So she told me that this is a t-shirt that she bought and made it in, into a zippered project bag with all these goodies inside of it. I don't know anything about sewing. Okay. So I was telling, um... Vicky about it, stitch and button. And she was like, oh my God, you need to write her the longest thank you card ever because she said that what, that the, this kind of t-shirt fabric is like, has a mind of its own fabric. Like, must have been a bear to stitch or to sew with. So, yeah. So thanks, Sue. Thank you, Sue. We these, obviously these love are, them. These are lovely. Yes. Okay. Okay. You got the right list out now? I do. Yes. Okay. So sorry, Pam. No, all right. I know the next ones. Yes, I do too. Okay, so one of the uh, last minute additions to the StitchCon attendee list right. was uh, Jen Lee and her mother. Right. So Jen Lee, if you don't know, is this person that started 24 Hours of Cross Stitch. Um, and I got to spend some serious quality time with her in the late night stitching room, both of them, her and her mother. And I am so mad that we have not met prior to this because she lives just a couple hours up the road. Right. And I am so glad that both of you were able to come. Right. It was amazing. And you all are beautiful humans. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So let me move this. You have a system. I do. Is it working? Yes. Okay. So she gave us a couple of project bags. Right. Look at this cute one. And thank you for putting Jen's card inside. But yes. look, it looks like wine bottles that are, you know, leaving rings on the table. Isn't so that funny. cute? I love it. With corks, uh, corkscrews. Hilarious. Isn't that cute? I love this. Love it, love it. And for me... Look at the little mice on the inside. Yep. Boom. Yep. Isn't that cute? It's beautiful. Yep. I Vinyl love fronts. So yes. Yep. So nice. Yep. These are great. I'm so excited to get it back from Jen Lee. I was like, stop it. Yeah. Here. Okay. And then the next set of bags we got from the lovely Miss Becca at My Stitchy Home. 
And um, we've talked about her before, how much we love her. Yeah. And we got to meet her even before she started her foster channel and got yeah. famous. Yeah, got famous. And um, she is a lovely, lovely, lovely person. Right. So she is also a quilter, for those of you that don't know. Right. She's multi-talented and amazing. Yeah. And um, so this is the bag she gave for me. It's uh, quilted and it's amazing. Yeah. And look at the little cat zipper pull. Yeah. So cool. And then, bam. Yep. Yeah. And I thought this was really cool, too. Um, the little label down at the bottom. Yeah. Very helpful for us. Yes. To know who they she came from. She probably heard us say that we have forgotten who, who gave us some bags in the past. Oh, that's cool. I, I just was reading the words on the inside. Yeah. Sorry. So this was mine. This is the back. And handles. Look at that fabric. That fabric Isn't, is amazing. That's amazing fabric. And on the inside, anchors. And there's her Rick Rat going diagonally. So there's her trademark mm -hmm. with her little card, My Stitchy Home, and uh, anchor, zipper pull. Amazing. These are beautiful, Becca. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amazing. Yep. Amazing. Yep. Okay. And then last but certainly not least in the project bag game is from Rika King. Yep. Who is on floss tube as um, House of Stitch and Stash? Yes, and she makes beautiful project bags. Yes, like absolute stunners. She's I've been... made some since she's gotten home from StitchCon. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have been um, eyeballing them forever. And so when she tagged me in a post pre. Um, this was like a few days before TitchCon, and she was like, oh, I'm so excited. This is going to go to my favorite, one of my favorite floss tubers and blah. I was like, that's for me? I was so pumped. I was like literally dying. I was so excited. So first of all, she gave me this lovely card, and she had these super, super cute TitchCon needle minders made that she was handing out, which was very, very, very cool, along with this lovely, lovely card. And... This is the bag that she made for me. <laughs> so this is the front. Dead on the floor. Yeah. And this is the back. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, I love this. I love this more than words are their yeah. words. Yeah. Yeah. And look Thank at you, this. Thank you, Rika. Yeah. And <coughs> look at that fabric. That's Isn't that awesome? Yep. And the stripe. Mm -hmm. on the inside and she sent me a really funny and I love it a really funny birthday card uh, oh cute uh, getting older is easy all it takes is a willingness to change for instance change the B in your bucket list to an F so there you go oh I get it <laughs> so, sorry it took me a minute yeah so took anyway me a minute. I love it um, and I love meeting you and Thank you, thank you. These are top, beautifully made. Top drawer. And so um, she is selling her bags on her Instagram account, which is House of Stitch and Stash. So I highly recommend that you go and check out her stuff. Right. Okay. So next. Okay. So I did make a valid attempt to organize stuff um, in some sort of fashion however whatever and i don't care how long this video is i feel like pam's nervous because the video is long but whatever mm -mm. okay so um we did a thing last year and we um did it again this year and i feel like it almost was a bigger hit this year than it was oh, last yeah, year for sure. um which was the needle minder exchange mm -hmm. so um pam and i both got acorn needle minders and hilariously enough okay well it's not hilarious that i don't remember exactly who gave them to me but i do know that they told whoever it was that gave them to me told me that their cross stitch group of people that they stitch with they call themselves the needle nuts which is just like our girls in tennessee and i was like yeah that group that we met you know yeah i was like that's wild and they said yeah when we watched your video and you said that we were like what yeah. Um, and they're all stuck together. So, of course. Because needle minders. Okay. So. 
I got it. We're good. Um, Pam and I both got from uh, Melinda, who is a Utah stitcher who we love. Mm -hmm. um, she handed out these needle minders, and they're like, they look like crystals almost. Mm -hmm. Aren't they pretty? They're yeah. very pretty. I like very, them very pretty. Very nice. Thank you, Melinda. And Pam and I both got one of these from Kathy um, in Maplewood, Minnesota. And it, she has her address on here, so I don't want to show it. But they're the Minnesota State yeah. Needle Minders. Love it. Gotta love me some Minnesota. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. And then uh, Kim Butler, who is... Stitch Adventure. But isn't it like Kimberly Butler Stitch Adventure? Yeah, Kimberly Stitch. Butler Stitch Adventure. All right. So, she made these needle minders, and Pam and I both got one. Yeah, but they're going to fly. They're going to fly to their friends. Just Oops. Now I just dropped one. Darn it. Dang it. Just know that we they both are the same, and they say handmade, and they're really cool. So, I got one with a red back, and I got Pam a blue back one, because Pam likes blue. Did you okay. get it? Yep. I'm proud of you. We should have two of these. We do. Okay. Yours, mine is in my bag. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And, okay, then next. Again, I don't remember what your names are. I think, I think that these are the bird saw mother and daughter. Okay. And they had these made by an Etsy shop called A Needle Runs Through It. And this is amazing. Yeah. They just had these made and we're hanging and handing them out. That's Isn't that great? really cool. Yeah. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, okay, this is really, really cool. Um, so, we're, wow. Mm. Ryan Mack. <laughs> wow. Um, so you've heard us talk about her. She's Wild Violet Cross Stitch. We love her. Um, she is also the person who designed the Happy Finishes Everyone pattern for us. And, like, love Ryan. Yeah. She's a super cool chick. Um, and so she came up to me and she said, are you more of a hearts or skull person? And I said, hearts. And so she handed me this needle minder which is really cool, and um, her business card, and then also a link to this chart. So disregard the back of the needle minder, but the chart says floss tube and chill. Isn't that cute? And she had the model on the rag table, and it was freaking yeah. cute. And Pam's well, like, did we get that chart? Did we, did we was, get it? Did we get it? Did I was like, it? yes, Pam. Yeah. We got yeah. the chart. Yeah. So, very excited about that. Yes. And then the last of my pile of needle minders is I had such a lovely time meeting Donna Ray Barrel from yeah. Flannel Jamie's yeah. Farm. And talking to her over the weekend um, was a delight. And... Um, she had these really cute needle minders made. And so I was like, I need to make sure I get one. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she is a beautiful, beautiful yeah. human. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to just work our way through boxes, people. Okay. So we got this from lovely Lynette and little one. And this is hilarious because they said that they really wanted to be a part of Crock-Pot Friday. So they gave us a jar of homegrown oregano. Isn't that great? Love you. Yep. Precious. March cannot come soon enough. And then... <clears throat> so if you all watched our recap video from last year's StitchCon, you know that that's when I fell, met and fell in love with Julie McConnell. Good news, we're still in love to this day. Back. Uh, and she came and she gave me this really, really cute little, I don't do want to take it apart because it's so nice. But there's a pair of scissors and a scissor fob and this like spool thing that your scissors stand in and a waxer and a baby hoop. And it's really cute. Very sweet. Thank you, Julie. Yeah. I'm still sad that we didn't get to hang out like I wanted to, but that's okay. So, if I talk about it, then I cry so I don't. Okay. 
There's a picture somewhere in the slideshow, and I'm like, we're both crying. So it's just, ah. just disregard that. Okay. Um, Pam and I both got lovely, lovely cards from Belinda. Yeah. And in it, she wrote us lovely messages. Thank you so much, Belinda. Yes. And run white and blue floss. And red, white, and blue floss. Thank you, Belinda. Put your floss there and your card here. Okay. Thank you, Pam. Okay. So I came back. I did have a seat, technically. It was up by the projector where the, um slideshow was playing uh and the slideshow was kind of like just information about the weekend um the stitchy bus schedule and then there was a slide for every floss super in attendance so um so people could recognize them and i came back and there was this this envelope sitting at my tape at my seat and i was like who put this here <laughs> and it was this really lovely card from deb and um, inside of the envelope was also this really lovely, I'm, I'm going to go with scissor fob. I don't think it's a zipper pull, but it's a Santa. And look at Oh, cute. It's very cute. Mm -hmm. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Very much. And I'm going to keep your cart. I don't keep envelopes typically, but you bet your booty I'm keeping this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, one of the lovely folks we met this weekend is Marion, and she, look at her cute little, look at that kitty, mm -hmm. and, um, these are called snippities, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And somehow, we ended up with three, so if one on the, if someone on the committee doesn't have one, we'll get one, yeah. get one of them. Yeah. But she made these this is what a snippety is okay mm -hmm. so it's like your interfacing felt mm -hmm. stuff here mm -hmm. for your orts mm -hmm. there's a magnet in here for your needle mm -hmm. yeah isn't that cool are you serious yeah are you serious? so we got three so well we, we did we got three so um we will give one to nicole well maybe nicole got one yeah we'll make sure yeah and we'll get to her Okay. Thank you. Thank for you. For those. Okay. Another lovely person. I mean, everyone was lovely. So, um, was, was, uh, Valerie from Stitching in the Barn. Oh, man. That was we so had, great to meet Val. We had such a lovely time yes. talking to her. Yes. She was like, just. Didn't have time to talk enough to Val. No, I know. And so she gave us each a gift, and um, mine first was, I'm sorry for the things I said while I was unpicking. <laughs> and then there's a seam ripper there, which is really cute. Yeah. I like these cloth bags a lot. Yeah, they're like the old Muslim laundry bags, kind yes. of like. And uh, mine says, um, stitching is my cardio, and she knows me more than she thinks she does. Mm -hmm. um, and then inside mine was... This adorable oh, ornament. This is so cute. I can't handle it. Oh my it. gosh. Look at this thing. She talked about trips she's made to Maine. This has oh, all really? the landmarks. That's cool. Yeah, she's been to Booth Bay and so forth. Oh yeah, she's been to yeah. Booth Bay. Yeah, and uh, isn't that cute? No big deal. Came from someplace called uh, Cat Studio. Huh. Um, but it has like all the Maine colleges on it and different landmarks. That's cool. And symbols and so forth. It's just lovely. It's on like satin. Just lovely. And then um, some post-its, because, I, like I said, she knows me. Right. Um, astrology, take the wheel. Um, logic, you had your chance. That's so really cute. Isn't that cute? Mm hmm Thanks, Val. And we are going to stay in touch. Inside mine was these post-its that said, unsolicited yet excellent advice. You're welcome. Yep. Which is very true. And then... This really cool towel mm -hmm. that says made from scratch. Isn't that cute? Which is basically about how I cook. So there's that. Yeah. So thank you so much, Valerie. We love them. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So these were handed to us. I think this is yours, Pam. 
Yes. Yes, it is. From Angela from mm -hmm. Texas. Yeah, Angela from Texas. And she hands us both these bags. And inside of them, she had picked out projects that she thought we would like. Yes. And so, so go. So for me, she picked out this great Sam Sarah that I had my <laughs> eye on anyway. It makes into a cute little pillow, and it's called Indivisible from Sam Sarah. Yep. Whoops. Pull it together, Pam. She kitted it up with 25 count lambs will Joblin and a wonderful sea serpent kind of needle minder mm -hmm. and all the floss in floss away bags. Crazy. I cannot wait to start this. It's going to go in the sooner rather than later, wheel, right? Absolutely. Okay. This is what she picked out for Thank me. Thank you, Angela. I love it. I'm obsessed with this chart, and I don't even have this yet. Right. Now I do. And right. then she got me all the floss for it, all the DMC. And then this really cute needle minder. It's like a little cat pirate needle minder. And then 32 count Smoky Pearl Belfast. Uh, yeah, that's going to be really beautiful on that. Gorgeous. I'm freaking pumped. I want to start it today. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Angela. That was very generous of you. Yes. I mean, like, Angela watches our champ. Yep, she knows us. She must. Okay, you can talk about this. Okay. Um, or are we waiting? This lovely project bag came from one of our Canadians. Yeah. We had several Canadians come Six. to TitchCon. Six. So look at this lovely project bag that she made. Isn't that lovely with the Beautiful. totem and the Dying. and the mountie and everything? Vinyl front, but look at the contents. Yeah, you saw it. Oh, Canada m &Ms. Holy moly. This is from Chris. Yes. Chris is Craft and Chris. On floss tube. On floss tube. He looks so happy. She sent O Canada M&Ms. Mm -hmm. She sent maple... Candies. Candies. Shaped like the maple leaf. Yes. She sent this portable... Oh, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Buffalo plaid ort jar. Love that. She sent... A card. A lovely card. Thanks so much. Very cute. Lovely embossed card. Yes. And Chris, Chris, Chris. Chris, Chris, Chris. She sent this lovely pattern from Fuzzy Fox Designs on Etsy of Mr. Gobbles the Turkey. And she printed it off on this really nice paper. Yeah, it's paper. a serious card. Like stock. it's like she did this like professionally. professionally. She's laughing at me, I know. With the fabric and the floss and the felt and the hoop and oh, to finish it to in. finish it into a little small. That's cute. This is really cute, Chris. Uh, Chris was in a dinner group oh, yeah, that yeah. I was in. We went to, I would say the. Let's see. Uh, second dinner group I was in. Okay. Uh, we ended up at an Italian restaurant. And we had a delightful evening. There were about Lovely. six or seven of us. Good. And I enjoyed meeting Chris. Yeah, she's super nice. And We never went with super nice. but Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you, Chris. I'm trying to zip it and make sure I don't catch the fabric in there. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Chris. I love this. Here. Oh, sorry, Pam. Wasn't keeping up. Okay. Then we can talk about this, because this is your gift from Jane, and Jane is the oh, lovely yeah. lady that gave me. Yes. So the, the lovely Jane the tower. gave me this lovely gift with this card. Look at that card. Isn't that a work of art? Holy crap, And I think, yeah. I think she made it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. She it's definitely a handmade, did. handmade card. Happy Independence Day from Jane in Greenwood, yeah. Indiana. Yeah. 
and what is this? That's the details about that. Oh. You're going to die. Please don't die. She made this project bag with a Blackbird design stitched and <laughs> inserted. Yep, yep, you're seeing right. Like, stop. Yep. So, stop. she um, made the project bag design from, is this the kind of um, inserted bag that uh, Lisa Kindred Stitcher makes. Apparently, yeah. I guess. I guess. And yeah. um, so she stitched it on 28 count over 2, which is what I would probably stitch it on. Yep. It's In Full Glory from, from the Sweet Land of Liberty book from Blackbird. Yep. And it's freaking beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. And look, the, she even put the little bird. The scissor fob is, or the zipper pull is really beautiful. And yeah. Like, stop. Yeah. So, Jane, wow. You stitched something, then you sewed it into a project bag? I mean, holy... Banana pants. Holy banana pants. That's right. And I just so, gave the bag. So, thank you, Jane. Yes. That's that's amazing. That's just amazing. I know. And the funny thing was that Pam had actually already opened it, right? Because we tried to be diligent about... Not opening gifts at StitchCon because then they would all get mixed together and bought and and people understood that and so that was nice that they understood that and so I opened that and I was like you're gonna die when you see this Pam and she was like look I already seen it yeah it's she, the house man it's really cute the ta as Barbara said many times throughout the weekend the talent in that room yeah wild. was mind blowing mind blowing. Okay, okay, so we're, so we we're going to continue. Yes, where we left off. Today, because yesterday. we needed food and sleep. Correct. We'd be and sitting in front of the camera until 2 a.m. Yeah, so we're going to keep showing more gifts, gifts from attendees. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. And we were not the only floss troopers to get gifts. No. So um, that just, um, I just want, needed to make that statement. Yeah. Because we're not special. I mean, we're a little special. I think you're special, Pam. Okay, well, whatever. Pam thinks I'm special, too. Uh, she tells me every morning. Um, she might not admit it to the general public, but she does. Um, so, one of the... And one thing that we... Okay, so if we had continued with our video yesterday and talking about these gifts, this is our opportunity for us to be like... This is from this person. This is my memory with this person from Stitchcom. Right. And then that's what would have made the video so long. Yeah. So um, last year we met Marcy, Marcy, Marcy for mm -hmm. the first time at Stitchcom 2018. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And then we were lucky enough to, because we're so busy during Stitchcom, so we didn't really get the opportunity no. last summer to sit down and really Not talk really. to her. Not really. We knew that we were like, she's amazing. Yeah, she, um, would, she would come up and... and um, uh, place a bag at my feet last year I'm talking about yeah, yeah and and you know you'd look down and there's a bottle of wine right <laughs> you know it's kind of like thanks gee thanks yeah um so that's that's just the way she rolls right so we know this now because we know her a lot more we do than we did a year ago yes and we're so thankful for her friendship um and we so, were able to see her at Galleria last right. fall, which was our first big opportunity to really yeah. get to know her and love her even more. Right. And then she was at the Midwest Crusher's Retreat last fall as well. So right. just all the Marcy all yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah. Which is great. And, so, and she, I think she's thinking about maybe starting a channel. She's, well, it's about freaking time. I know. Okay. So, yeah. So let's all cheer uh, Marcy on and say, you know. Do it, Marcy. Just, just, just do it. So she had given us two fantastic gifts, one for me and one for Pam. Right. So, um, and then she told me, she said, open the gift and then come find me because there's a story. And I was like, okay. So Marcy lives in Kansas. And for those of you who don't know, Lizzie Kate is also in Kansas. Mm -hmm. And their local needle workshop is Heart's Desire in Kansas. Right. So she gave me this lovely card. Trying to keep things organized over here. Just keep stitching, you know? Ooh. And so I opened it, and there is this lovely pattern from Lizzie Kate. Fall Crazy, number 131, which I do not have. Nope. 
Never seen so, that. So that's a winner. Yep. And then this is what the card said. <clears throat> This is a pattern that is an exclusive design by Lizzie Kate for my LNS Heart's Desire in Wichita, Kansas. The linen is a piece made by Lakeside Linens just for this pattern. Enjoy, Marcy. And then at the bottom, it says, Linda signed it for you. Yeah. And then I start crying. And so this is the beautiful, beautiful pattern. And it is called Flower. It says designed especially for Heart's Desire in Wichita, Kansas. Marcy added this really pretty pin to it, which I think is beautiful. And to Stephanie, Linda, LK19. That's what that says, right? Yep, LK19. Yep. And so here is all of the stuff for it beautiful. which is beautiful yeah i really cannot wait to stitch this right it's gonna be gorgeous so i'm like what more to the story could there possibly be so i find marcy and i was like i'm dead on the floor this is amazing thank you so much and she was like well i took a photo with linda holding the chart that she signed for you so she texted me the photo and she told me I could use it in our video. So I will insert the photo of a Marcy with Linda and the pattern that Linda signed for me here. Pretty cool, cool huh? Very cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Marcy. I Very love it. cool. All right. Now I got to get Pam's present. Yeah. Oh, please. Yeah. Okay, so this was literally, I'm not kidding, she knows because she did it. She left it in my chair. And yes. it was wrapped in this beautiful gold um, fancy paper mm -hmm. and um, had a bow around it. And um, I, I saw it in my chair. I'm, <laughs> I'm walking around. I'm socializing. I'm thinking, okay, so I, I guess that's mine. I don't have any idea. It was quite a while before... Um, oh, really? Before you got around to opening it? Before Marcy said, for God's sake, will you open that thing? And then I knew it was for Marcy. And oh. she said something to that effect. You All right, no you guys. Now, this is where you have to look up. Yes. Because not only down. is this an amazing gift, mm -hmm. but you need to see the talent of this woman. This is why she should make floss chips. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I'm going to see if I can do this without standing up because there's a little weight to it okay so okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the outside first <clears throat> where's the card i think it's inside here really yeah i put it in there oh. i did all right so marcy knows me pretty well um at least as much as many of you do that i am a oh. history nerd a particularly American history and that I'm from New England and that I'm in the DAR and you know all that stuff right right so um, Marcy tends to do even in smalls exchanges that we participated mm -hmm. with her at different retreats she tends to do um, boxes yeah. of different types mm -hmm. and um, we showed a beautiful Christmas box she made for us yeah. at Christmas time this past Christmas. It was stunning. It was just absolutely unbelievable. All right? So, it's a box. Okay? You see, it's a box. It's a metal box. All right? Now, I'm going to turn it around and show you the cover, and you're going to freak out. Right. You're going to flip out. All right. Now, <clears throat> I'll tell you all the details of the des design on the cover of this box. In a minute, but I just want you to gaze upon this amazing, amazing stitching. Look at that. And That's pretty cool. if you can pause it and see the full screen of this, the bottom ribbon says the Boston Tea Party, right? The Boston Tea Party. Okay, now. 
they're stitching there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're stitching there. That is one over one stitching. I'm going to get as close as I can and hold it as steady as I can because this is amazing. Mm -hmm. You've got the water, you've got the buildings, you've got the tea party, tea party, teapot at the top. You've got the waves in the water. You've got this three masted schooner in the water and I think other boats. I think those are boxes of tea. They are the boxes of tea. Duh. So you've got the you've got the boat, you've got the boxes of tea in the water. You got the sunset. I mean which is freaking beautiful. I mean stop. The word underneath the boat uh is tea. Mm -hmm. So that's a box of tea. Right. Are you getting this? And that's one are over you getting one this? on thirty two count. One over one on thirty two count. Thirty two count. This is absolutely exquisite. Yeah. Is it 32 or 36? 32. One over one on 36, that would be banana pants. It's 32. You, sh just read the card when you get to it. All right. Yeah, she, she gave me the details, so I'll mm -hmm. be able to correct myself if need be. Do you believe this? This is amazeballs. All the little charms and buttons just on the cover. We haven't opened up the box yet, folks. Mm -mm. No. This is just the cover. All right, and so there's a latch with more anchors and ribbon. All right, so I'm going to set it down. You've seen the cover. All right, so I'm going to set it over here, and I'm going to open it up. Okay. So you're going to hear, you're going to hear, hopefully, not a, not a crash. Not a whole lot of noise. All right, so this is the card, and this is the cover of the chart, and it's called A Memorable tea all right and there's the design mm -hmm. a memorable tea and it is by mary beal yeah okay mary beal a memorable tea see there's the design and this cover shows a picture of <coughs> it made into a tea cozy right okay is that so what you call it a tea cozy yes okay um and a very nice note um uh yep she's like she's like my sister she's like my sister so there you go and and then when you open it then when the you up. open up this card is the chart mm -hmm. which i can't show and directions on how to make it into a tea cozy but of course that was not enough for marcy no so um there's quite a bit of history um, there's instructions to do it in needlepoint if you want to, um, mm. and um, Fancy. Appleton wool skeins. I don't know anything about that, but it's kind of like um, Maureen um. Appleton. Yeah, let me see. Sort of that. Oh yeah, there's the information. All right, so here's the information, and it's it's um, on one of these lovely historic cards. Mm -hmm. And it says, um, completed on 6-24-2019, which was my birthday. Title, A Memorable Tea, Designer Mary Beale. And Steph was right, uh, yet again, um, 32 count, um, one over one, using DMC threads. Yep. Okay, so cool. now for the contents. First of all, she started with something to inspire her. Right. Which is often the case. We see things. And we say, that's my starting point, okay? So she found this lovely little creamer, I'm sure in an antique store, mm -hmm. with the father of our country. There he is. There he is, GW. Mm -hmm. And so she said that kind of got the wheels turning, right? Right. And inside she put a skein of uh, Schoolhouse Red from Gloriana. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. A skein of um, natural uh, from Dinky Dyes. Mm -hmm. okay. And a skein of needlepoint silk in um, the colorway Williamsburg Blue Range. So Perfect. red, white, and blue. Perfect. Inside the little creamer. Yep. So wasn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. Then there was this. Mm -hmm. 
And this is a candle pedestal. Yeah. Um, that uh, on which she stitched uh, this patriotic shield and laurels. And this is from the chart called O is for Old Glory from Heart Heartstring Samplery. Yeah. Heartstring Samplery. Mm -hmm. And then. But she stitched it one over one. But she stitched it one over so one. Fit. And she said on the chart, I have that chart, mm -hmm. O for Old Glory. Uh, she said that the the laurel branches um, are not even in oh, the chart. Oh, really? And that she hmm. freehanded or whatever uh, to make them even. And then, of course, the shield, which is all this is one over one, people. Mm -hmm. And all of the lovely little buttons and, and marker pins. And isn't that just lovely? Mm hmm it's beautiful. Isn't that just lovely? It's beautiful. Okay. Then also in the box was a pair of scissors and luck stars. <laughs> they work. They work. They're, they're work, working scissors. And at the end for the scissor fob is this little square. And I don't know what chart this came from. If she told me, I forgot. But 1799, George and Martha, Mount Washington, and the W. Wild. For Washington. And trimmed and finished on the back. And so you have it's so cute. this lovely, lovely stitching accessory that is just exquisitely done exquisitely done one over one again yeah can we just say so there was there was that mm -hmm. there was also an antique spool from Coates and Clark's mm -hmm. with a length of beautiful patriotic trim mm -hmm. that will be used in something that um, we will have finished at the shop mm -hmm. lovely just lovely there was also a package of 26 Tapestry Petites, which is my needle of choice. Mm -hmm. And there was also a pack a pack of color and cotton fabric. Get this, because theme. Mm -hmm. This is hand-dyed Lugana, uh, 32 count, a quarter of a yard. Um, and the name of it is White Tea. Get it? Get it? <coughs> Also, in here were three packages of tea. Right. Uh, chamomile, citron. This one came open just a little bit. Black currant. Aren't these just the cutest little triangles? I know. And white ambrosia. And that is from Marcy. Wild. Do you now see why we if had you to know make Marcy, a separate video? If you know Marcy, you know this is Marcy. If you know her, if you've yeah. been fortunate enough to meet her at a retreat or have become friends with her, this is Marcy. It is. And um, this is Marcy to a T. Get it? T. So here, put this in the base. This I will. Cloth. So uh, I want to publicly say that this is a treasure. Before we left the convention center, I was even thinking about a display case for this. Oh, yeah. Because this cannot just be shoved in the back of a closet no. or just set on a shelf to collect dust. No. So uh, this it needs go to in be... It china cabinet. Yeah. This needs to be prominently displayed and available to show people. Absolutely. So, um, aside from the tea, I'll drink the tea. Well, do you so, want this with our cards or with this? I want it with that. Okay. That so, can. isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? So now do you see why we need to have a separate video? Yeah. So that's because 15 minutes, 20 minutes, just on Marcy. Right. <laughs> Not 20 minutes on Marcy. It was close. I mean. Between you and me. Yeah, that's true. So isn't that neat, though? I mean, that's just. Like, that's wild. That's It's wild. And, wild. And a lot of people were standing around when I opened it. and Oh, they were? And, uh, oh, cool. Yeah, because it was, oh, my gosh, we were. Because <laughs> everyone wanted to see it. We were, um, 
Yeah, closing down um, that day. And um, so it was late at night, and I was a bit of a wreck. And uh, are those the needles that go with? Yeah, but we're just putting them with our needle stash. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. I'm trying okay. to be organized. All right. Okay. We love you, Marcy. Did you, you know this? Okay. Next. Okay. I had, okay, so if you watched her, if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know about the fantastic and wonderful and totally unexpected amount of time that I got to spend with Julia McConnell last year, right? And how I was like, I didn't see that friendship coming, and then it hit me like a ton of bricks, and my life has never been the same since. So, this year, it happened, not with Julia McConnell, because me and Julia McConnell are in love, end of story. And this year happened with Debbie Bernheisel. Yeah. So I had been like looking for, like I was looking forward to meeting and seeing so many people, but like. Do you know who we're talking about? Debbie of Deb and Kef Snug from Harbor Snug Crafts. Harbor Crafts. You don't know who they, they are. are. They are floss tubers. Yes, they are. Okay. And only Debbie was able to come to StitchCon right. because Kef had work obligations. Correct. So. So I loved Debbie so much even before I met her. Oh my god, yes. You can't help but love her. I mean, stop. Yeah. And then we got just to talking and people were like, you all have been sitting there forever. And we were like, really? We have? Two and a half hours later. Yeah. And she is a exceptional human. Yeah. I love her dearly, yeah. as Kyle would say. Yeah. And, um... She's very special. Yeah. To me. Yeah. And special to And to him. a lot of people. And to a lot of people. But Debbie knows. Yeah. Debbie knows. Yes. So, Debbie gave us some gifts. Yeah. And, okay, you can go first. There you go. Okay. So, she gave me, uh, they gave me, I should say, um, they, they have... <laughs> why they call themselves probably one of the reasons they call themselves Snug Harbor Crafts is because they do other crafts besides yeah, they do like every cross stitching, craft and I think card making is one of them. It is. And um, look at this, um, look at this adorable. You can see the dimensions to it. This like adorable birthday bananas. card. Yeah, and um, happy birthday, love Deb and Kef. And um, so that alone, that right. alone is cool. Yeah. Okay, and then, um, oh, that goes that. Okay. So, yeah, you actually opened yours. I didn't open mine. Yeah. So, there was this little box, and it was, uh, had by land or by sea adventure, this cute little nautical box. Isn't Thank that you. adorable? Just the box. Thank you for the box. Right. Um, and there was a little tag that said, ahoy. Of course. Right. Along with a little paper, you know, because okay. she's the quick, quick it, quick it person or whatever cricket machine queen. she has. Uh, generic, it's like Kleenex. So it's a cricket. Um, anchor. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Anchor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then inside, I haven't opened these yet. Four individual uh, chocolates mm -hmm. uh, wrapped in anchor paper wrappers. There you go. Correct. So, isn't that cute? Very cute. Thank you for the chocolates, Debbie. Right. Okay. okay. That goes over here. Okay. Okay. And then, she gave you these? Okay. And then, look at these. Oh, my God. Um, if if we didn't have that sort of rule about <coughs> um, not using until you show it on floss tube, I would have had these on on Thursday. This is true. Um, but, uh, look at these. Uncle Sam hat. Footies. Yep. Footies. Socks. Socks. Yep. But, you know. We do have that rule, so. Yeah, so now I can wear them. <laughs> right. And then that is Choc Couture, but it's with ink. Yes. So Debbie does Choc Couture. If you she does. don't know anything about Choc Couture, and I did not before we started watching Debbie and Kev, mm -hmm. um, go watch them and you'll yeah. learn all about Choc Couture. Um, I bought a Christmas sign from them last year. Right. And I think she was selling. I don't know whether she still is. I think still she still selling. is, but. So look at this lovely tea towel in this beautiful blue ribbon. And look at this friggin' whale. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but is he not 
Isn't that lovely? Wobble yonder. Wobble yonder love it. is what the whale says. And love I it. love this. And I don't know. Did Debbie know we have a blue kitchen? I don't I know. I don't, unless Debbie has never been to our house. Well, but you never know. There you go. And then this, which and then is this, also Chocotour. And this is Chocotour, too. And like uh, Steph said, we bought one of her signs because it's kind of a home decor kind Thing. of craft. Yeah. And are you going to die? You're going to die. No, please don't die. <laughs> Look at this sign for my house. Is this I think that's not... Shop Couture. Oh, I'm sure it is. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, New England Lobster Co. Serve okay. fresh daily. Oh, my God. Like, it's perfect. I just love it. You know I would. You knew I would. I don't have to... I don't have to... Uh, say it any other way, but um, this is this is super cool. It's very this cool. is super cool. And um, any of my family that comes to the house will say, "Where where'd in you, God's you green earth did you get that?" And I will say, <laughs> "Debbie Bernheisel. I'm friends with Debbie Bernheisel. So there you go. Correct. Yeah. And um, you know they they call themselves Snug Harbor because even though they're in Utah. You know, they really love anything nautical, so... They do. That's where we connect. We connect on a lot of different a levels. Lot of things. But, um, so, thank you, Debbie. Um, it was just uh, fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous to talk with you and visit with you and get to know you. Yes. So... These are the gifts that Debbie gave me. Um, so, I got a lovely box, just like Pam did, but I did not open mine yet because I wanted you all to see the adorable presentation. Yeah, that's how mine was wrapped, too. Right, and with yep. her business card yep. and all the things. Yep. Okay. And then I got a really cute pair of socks as well with cats. Cute. And this is like fuzzy. It's cool. I yep. like it. Yep. And then I got... Oh. Yay! And there's the pen again. Damn pen. Oh, please. Don't She's worry. I going got in. Okay. okay. So then this is the lovely card. Yep. That they gave to me. From the both of them. From Yes, yes from the lovely. both of them. Yes. And then this a really cool, I kind of want to make it into a uh, wall hanging Katie glass. Um, There's a thought. Wouldn't that be cute? Wouldn't look that at be all cute? those really cool looking I mean, cats. why use it, you know, why use it any other way? Or can it be made into a project bag, Katie glass? <laughs> Katie, help me. <laughs> well... I think a wall hanging would be really cute. It would be very cute. I think it would be darling. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so, very, very cool. I yeah. love that. Mm -hmm. And then... Yep. And what are the chances that yeah. I don't have this already? I know. I know. But this but is... Maybe they checked. Maybe they checked with Karen and Karen maybe, said... Well, how would Karen know? She might have a history of orders. Well... Okay, whatever. Whatever. Gonna, don't argue on a plus two. <laughs> um, and so this is from uh, Karen Torres. You know. Uh, at So Much yep. to Live. Yeah. And you know that we love Karen yep. and So Much to Love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Wizard of Oz. Bye. Yep. And then inside of the bag was a zipper pull. Yeah. Little heart at the bottom. Yeah. Keychain zipper pole situation. Yeah. I love it. And the perfect. blue gingham on the inside. Obviously perfection. Yeah. I love this. Thank you, Debbie. I, whew, if October wasn't so full, I would try to get to Utah because that would be fun. Yeah. So one year we should try to go to Utah, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. So have you I've there, been there once for those of you that are like what are they talking about uh, Deb and Kef are running a Stitch West retreat right. and it's full it is full yeah, yeah, yeah. so don't even yeah. right but you can still put your name on the list oh you can yeah. oh yeah that's right I heard yeah. Kef say that that's right, right. so um, we want to go so we're going to yeah. go yeah it's in our future it is in meant to be yes okay so, this next pack, thank you both for the gifts. We love you both dearly, yes, and you yes, know that. Yes. Okay. So, this next package of goodies. Yes. is from one of my table mates. Yes. And one of our Canadian participants, mm -hmm. uh, and her name is Marcia, Marcia, and she came to StitchCon. Are you ready for this? 
from Alberta, Canada. Red Deer, Alberta. Red Canada. Deer, Alberta, Canada. Yes. She was at my table. She's a delight. She's so sweet. Yes. And she wrote us this lovely, lovely, lovely note yes. that goes on for days. And it's, I am obsessed with it. We've read the whole it. thing more Twice. than once. Yes. Yep. Okay. So this way I can kind of explain what the things are. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this, if I'm not, yes, this is yours. Okay. okay. So you can go first. Oh, okay. So uh, this is from Marcia. Yes. And um, these cards are just so cute. Are just too much. Um, look at this card. All right. So my the life. tennis ball is between the two chairs. And That's the, actually a photo of me. And the dog is looking <laughs> like, how do I get that ball? <clears throat> and um, she put in her card. Um, she is, we did take a picture. I don't think it was in our montage, but we did take a picture of all the librarians. Um, did I miss work, that? Working and retired. Yeah, you did, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> that's fine. I'm not mad about it at all. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, but she was retired from working in a library. And um, so um, inside, the dog does get the tennis ball. Just so, Oh, does it? Because you're not, so you won't lose, lose sleep. Oh. Okay. Please don't lose sleep over so the dog. So we've got a uh, pen with Canadian maple leaf on it. Stephanie's trying to keep this in order. I am. I'm trying very hard. Um, I want to lead up to the big. Um, okay. So show those and then I'll tell the story about them. The, this or what's inside left? That. Oh, so look at this, you guys. She knows I love ice skates. Mm -hmm. I wasn't much of an ice skater as a kid, but I just love ice skates. I just think they're just a symbol of winter and... and um, Lots of things. So aren't those cute? They're super cute. Super I cute. Love them. This is wooden. And so she said that um, the I, the ice skating ornaments yes. that she purchased at a local festival they have called the Festival of Trees. Oh, that's right. That's right. And it's a fundraising event for the local hospital that takes place in November every year. And um, businesses will sponsor the purchase and decoration of a Christmas tree and put it on display at their Centrium, which I'm assuming is like your... Auditorium, Auditorium or or arena. Something. At the end of the week, these trees are auctioned off with the funds going to a chosen department at the hospital. A CAT scan, a new medication chart, new great? beds, etc. And then um, they have a bunch of other events at this festival. And then um, the hours are open to the public for you to come view the trees. You get the idea. So I think that was really, really cool. Right, right. So, so if you're ever in Alberta, Canada, go to the festival trees. Yeah, Red Deer. And look... These get are ready. Amazing. You're gonna die. Stop telling them they're gonna die. They're gonna well, stop they're, looking you're gonna, up. You're gonna be amazed. That's what I'll start to say. Yes, please you're do. You're gonna be amazed. Bam! These are mittens. Yeah, they are. These are Canadian mittens. These they don't mess say around. Canada on them. These have a maple leaf on them. These are amazing. Oh, they mm -hmm. even have the little because the Olympics were in Alberta. They were. And the Winter Olympics. They're, as a, Yeah, I don't think they're going to have the Summer Olympics in Alberta, oh, Canada. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, these are yummy. Yeah. Oh. You didn't put your hands on them yet? Oh, girl. Oh, oh. Fit like a tea. Fit like a tea or fit to a tea? To a tea. Okay. Sorry. I was like, what we've exactly? Been, we've been floss tubing a long time what, the last two what days. What is a tea? They're really nice. Fit to a tea. Yes. And I love them, I love them, I love them. Good for so, when we shovel the snow. Yeah, when we're out there shoveling. Right. Exactly. Is that everything in there? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. Because I could feel the weight. And a lovely pair of dinky dye Canadian scissors. Yes, with the Canadian maple Isn't that lovely? Absolutely So thank lovely. you, Marcia. Um, Absolutely lovely. Enjoyed sitting with you, and you are a dear. Okay. Here, give me the bag, Pam. Okay. Okay. All right. And then this is the bag for me. These cards are just precious. Oh, that's me. <gasps> that's me actually playing or conducting the orchestra. Yeah. Yeah. Move that over to the back so it's okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. And she also gave me a lovely pair of Canadian mittens, so we can we can match that fit to a T. <laughs> 
And she also gave me a Canadian pen, which I love. That won't fall off because we're in it. And then um, we have a stack of them that we'll show towards the end of this video. But um, people were kind of bringing me charts as and Pam the same that they either had brought with them or that they found on the freebie table or what have you. Yeah, we had personal shoppers at the freebie yeah. table. And so this was one that Marcia had brought me. Right. Midnight Kitty. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. And then I got my own pair of Canadian socks. Aren't those Look great? Those. Aren't those great? I love them. Yeah. My hands and feet will never go cold again. That's it. So, thank you so much, Marcia. We love all the Canadian things. Yeah. And your note. Yes. Love it. Yes. Love it. Okay. That is the end of that box. Believe it or not. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So, um, Pam... Yes. Pam. <laughs> Pam got a bottle Pam of wine. Pam got lots of wine this weekend. I'm going to have to pick Pam up off the floor later. <laughs> I got this wonderful, wonderful um, bottle of Margot, which is a red. Mm. And um, it's from Chateau... On good day, yeah, good, good try. Uh, French, French red, and it is from two sisters who were at StitchCon from Alabama. Yep, uh, Renee and Jen. And, and I could listen to them read the dictionary. I know, I know. Their accents are impeccable. Yeah, yeah. So, bottle of red from France, from the Alabama sisters. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. This was very generous. Here. And uh, it was Renee that saved my life on Saturday night. Um, and Renee knows what I'm talking about. Yes. And you don't, I, you don't even know what I'm talking no, about. No, I don't know. But we went to dinner. Yeah. Did I you? went in two dinner groups. Mm -hmm. And I believe... Yes, you two were at dinner with me and Debbie Bernheisel mm -hmm. and Dina Half Stitch. I, I I have two groups and they were about the same size. I <laughs> hope I'm not confusing them, I really but I believe I shared a meal with you too, because when you said yeah, you did listen to the talking. Because yeah, because I don't they because they're from the Alabama and it was fun. It was so fun. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So um, so thank you, Renee and Jim. Oh um, um, no, Dina was not in that night group. She was the next night when we went another restaurant. So, okay. Anyway. Okay. Um. So there's a lovely woman, Sharon from Tennessee, and uh, Sharon is uh very big Pam and Steph fan and we love her for it and um you know when you like somebody comments on your stuff on Instagram or you talk back and forth on Instagram and that you don't know them right, right. and then so when you meet them in person you have in your head what their photo is right so Sharon her photo on Instagram is a tab cam tab the drink the drink it's, yes the Soft drink. Yes. So she brought me a can of Tab because she was a Sishcon. Yeah. And I, like, don't want to drink it because I know. it's from Sharon. Yeah. And I also have never tasted Tab, so I don't know what Tab tastes like. It's kind of like a diet cola. Oh. It is a diet cola. Okay. It's, it's, it's had its more popular days. It's got zero calories and zero fat and yeah, zero carbs yeah, and yeah. Is it just air in there? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, and it's caramel color, so it must be dark. Okay, yeah, it's whatever. A, it's a diet cola, but I don't want to drink it because it's from Sharon. Yeah, but um, okay. And then she came up to Pam, right? At one point, right? And she said, "Everybody's giving you guys cross stitch stuff, so I thought I'd give you." Something that wasn't cross-stitched. Yeah. And so she gave us these two 
crocheted dishcloths. Dishcloths, and they're like. And we love them. Yes. Uh, my mom, Steph's grandmother, um, used to make those, and um, that was it's, a lot for my mom because she did not take to the she's needle. Um, not crafty. Uh, willingly or easily, but easy. that was one thing that she did do was make those dishcloths. And um, so there you go. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, so we talked a little bit about uh, the gifts from Kia and Nathan. Right. So, hopefully. Oh, oh, oh. So, here comes. I'm trying to be discreet here. Yeah. Okay, you can talk about it. So, um, another bottle of wine for yours truly. And this comes from Willow Run. Mallow Run. Mallow. I'm glad it's not Willow Run because I don't think I could say Willow Run Winery. <laughs> After one glass of After, wine. <laughs> uh, more than once in succession. Correct. Um, so this is a cab, and um, it is from Mallow Run Winery in Bargersfield, Indiana. Yep. So right across the border. Yeah. And i um, going to enjoy that. Thank you, too, very much. And they even I gave will you enjoy it. a little sippy cup. Oh, I don't have this. But it says Mallow Run Winery on it. I know I should have put a thing inside. Whatever, get over it. Oh, yeah, they can see it. Yeah, so now I have a wine sippy cup. That's very that's, dangerous. That is That's very dangerous because then I don't worry about um, any spillage Correct. on the stitching, as, as you know, right. as you can imagine. So um, she made us the shirts, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. I hope you can see it because I worked really hard to get it on the bell, yeah. Kia. I really did. So this is the bell. This is our famous bell. Um, we did take it to StitchCon. We put it up on the... Um, podium. Po thank you. Podium with the little sign that said, Happy Finishes, everyone. And people and rang people it. And people rang it all weekend. And it yes, was, they did. It was beautiful and it was wonderful and all yep. the things. Everybody clapped. So Kia made... Yeah, you can't really see it. Um... Transfers. Yeah, so it says happy finishes everyone. Yeah, yeah. You probably won't be able to see it on camera, but they're there. But know that they're there. Stephanie did a very good job in, in peeling off the backings and sticking the transfers on. Yes. And um, that makes it neat. And she gave me a cat button. There you go. Because who? Because cats. A cat button. Okay. Um, okay. That's yours. Mm hmm and then that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Re reliving these things. It's amazing. Okay. It is. Um a lovely <clears throat> a lovely nautical card. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cute? Who's it from, Pam? It is from Ginger, who is known as Graceful Stitcher. Is she on Floss Tube? Yeah. That's great. Okay. And um that it was basically a birthday card. I mean the message has to do with having a birthday right and then she you people wait we did have a smiles exchange this was in addition to the smiles exchange mm -hmm. yeah you're getting a peek i wanted to fold out the card because she gave me the um specifications look at that eagle that's awesome i mean to tell you it like kind of looks like the passport eagle yeah kind of I just she realized. Wouldn't, she but wouldn't she wouldn't have, have known that because she, she didn't come, come last year. year. This yep. is Liberty Eagle mm -hmm. from Blackbird Designs. Yep. It is stitched on 28 count French Country Mocha. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be shaking it. You want to look at it. She stitched him with dinky dye silks mm. in dinky dye silks in the color chocolate. Beautiful. And used Sullivan floss for the rest of it. She said it was the first time she'd stitched anything using Sullivan floss. I love it. And then it's finished with this lovely blue lace oh. trim and the gingham on the back. And she had her initials and the year very awesome. in the prim style put on the back. I love it. And this is absolutely gorgeous. There are eyelets on here. Like you wouldn't believe. These are eyelets, people. And that just that isn't is this beautiful. gorgeous. Ginger, very, very special. Very, very special. And um, just to add to uh, me thanking you at the convention center, thank you again. Um, just, just lovely. Ooh, really I know. good. Really it's good like stuffing. really finished well. You know, very tightly 
tightly stuffed and um, it's a stiff one that's for sure <laughs> and it's just lovely it's so beautiful. thank you ginger very very much yes and I love the card as well yes so ginger gave me this beautiful card yes Isn't that fun America yeah and a lovely note mm -hmm. and then she stitched for me again in addition to the smalls exchange yeah this lovely Lizzie Kate, Liberty. Isn't that beautiful? And oh my gosh. It's like so well finished. Yeah. Um, and so this is called, I think, uh, it's, I know it's Lizzie Kate, but it's called A Little Liberty. Yeah. By Lizzie Kate. Yeah. And then the back finished with her initials in yep. 2019. Love it. And so it looks like it's um, finished on foam core with the pom-poms trim yep. and then two more pieces of foam core that are attached to it with the black gingham oh my gosh i'm obsessed yeah it's gorgeous and we may or may not have the perfect place on our yep. entertainment center for it to hang correct yep we do so thank you so much ginger if you don't watch ginger Just you lovely. should her channel will be linked below right okay um another long time big fan of pam and steph and we, that we were so excited to meet um was Mendy. Yes. Not Mindy. Mendy. Mendy. And yes. she is from Nevada. Uh Las Vegas. Uh blanking out. I think it's Vegas. Mendy won. You heard us talk about the quilt that oh, was yeah, raffled yeah. off. Mm -hmm. Mendy won the quilt. She sure did. And um I believe sure it's going to be uh, mailed to her because she, yeah, is she couldn't one of, fly home with that because it's freaking that, huge. That um, flew. Right. So we each got a bag from Mindy. She is a darling, darling person. Yes. Inside my bag were two Victorian motto uh, over dyed floss. Mm -hmm. And this I love. I love, I love the personalization of these gifts yeah this means the world to me i will be honest with you this Absolutely. means the world to me so one of these victorian motto sampler shop over dyed floss is cape cod pier see what i mean mm -hmm. see what i mean cape cod pier and this one is yeah aren't those lovely there was also a Nice stack of sticky notes. Man, oh man. Pam needs those. I need these <laughs> to get through my day. I'm I'm not kidding. I am not, not kidding. She's not kidding. There was a lovely needle minder. Uh, let's see. Um, that yeah, you can show it in the is back. like the bluebird of happiness mm -hmm. with a heart. Very, very nice. Yes. And... A, I handed it to you so it wouldn't fall. It's okay. It, it was just the bag. Okay. It's okay. Pam. And then a bath bomb. A bath bomb. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. A bath bomb in a bag. <laughs> bath bomb in a bag. Got a rubber ducky for when I take that bath. <laughs> rubber ducky, you're the one. Yeah. There will be no pictures. But. He's going to watch you because he's a police officer. <laughs> he's a sailor. No, he's not. That's is he a, law enforcement? He is most definitely a law oh enforcement dear. duck. We're in trouble now. We are. And um, look at this. And she had them finished by Barbara. How, and I and missed it completely. Because this is Barbara's signature um, finish. finish with the... Um, twisted cord. Twisted cord. and But she stitched this. And... Um, Look at this. If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. Is that not gorgeous? Yeah. You guys, is that not gorgeous? I don't have any details. Um, it's Stony Creek. If you, yeah, Stony Creek. You can tell by the lettering. It's Stony Creek. Uh, so maybe you can Google on the Stony Creek website to, to find out where it is. Uh, probably came out of one of their magazines. You mean search on the Sony Creek website. What did I say? You said Google on the Sony Creek oh, website. Oh, well, Google and search are synonymous, are they not? 
Uh, this is lovely, Mindy. This is really, really yeah. pretty. Mm -hmm. And what what forethought to have it all finished at Keepsakes. And um, there's a little B button right there. Just lovely. Very lovely. Mindy, thank you. It was a delight to meet you. And yes. I'm so happy about you winning the quilt. I know. It was just all the feels. All of them. All right, let's put your rubber ducky back away. Yeah, I'm going to need that later. I'm oh, hush, take my pants. bath. Pant. Yeah, okay, fam. Ah! Um, so, for me, she gave me a bath bomb as well. Mm -hmm. Smells amazing. Um, however, I'm not going to be arrested. I'm going to be saved Aww. by my fireman ducky. First responder. There you Call go. Me. Um. <laughs> Hey, you know, hey. girls got to do what a girl's got to do. Yeah. And then um, she gave me this lovely needle minder with a cat and a teacup. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Very that's cute. That's super cute. Yes. And then she gave me um, a stack of post-its. Because that's how we communicate. Correct. Post-it to post-it. Right. We're like ships passing in the night. Yeah. 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 Um, and then she also gave me two skeins of... Victoria Mono Sample Shop Threads in Red, which are my favorite color. Yeah. And this is called Prim Cherry Red, which is beautiful. It's showing up accurate. Yeah. And then this is a Victorian Christmas. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Obsessed. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful threads. Mm hmm And then, you guys, look what she stitched for me. It's a Stony Creek. I know that. I don't know where... Um, what the pattern is called exactly, right. but, um, and this is called, well, this is what it says is where words fail, music speaks. Cause she knows of my love of music. Yep. Isn't that beautiful? It's lovely. And it's filled, uh, finishes a little stand up mm -hmm. by Barbara at Keepsakes. And I love it so much. Look at the back. Yep. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So we put this in my room. Yep. Thank you, Mendy. Yep. So, so much. Very, very thoughtful. Very thoughtful. The most thoughtful. Okay. Uh-oh. Nope, we're good. Okay. Okay, that's yours. You can show that. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Good, we're doing good. Uh, this is from our lovely friend, Manis Melissa. Yes. From Neely's Needle Nest. And this looks like a handmade I'm card. Too. I'm too. Too. Yes. Ha happy day. Birthday card. Yes. And a lovely note. A package of... I can't wait to I know. We're going to open these after we film. Uh, this I'm is... dying for these. Cherry Lovers candy. Made with real cherry juice. <gasps> oh, um, my mouth is watering yeah. as we speak. Don't eat the food on camera, Pam. A lovely... Oh, wait. What? On the back. Sorry. I just saw the back label and it shows chocolate cherry, cherry daiquiri, kiwi cherry, bing cherry, cherry cheesecake, black cherry, wild cherry, cherry vanilla, and cherry cola. Yeah. Oh, my heck. We are going to be, yeah, we are going to be uh, opening those. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, this is, me. look at this pretty needle minder she gave me. It looks like yeah. a starry night with the trees. I love that. Isn't that lovely? I love that so much. Neely's Needle Nest. But here's the piece to resist off. Uh oh. She stitched and made a beautiful, beautiful biscornu. Look at this. And she said in the card that it the uh, basic design is from Ship's Manor, mm -hmm. but that she added the whales. Oh, I didn't know and she added then, the whales. I'm pretty sure. Let me check check the thing. I changed it up quite a bit, like adding whales. Wild. Wild. Wild whales. Wild whales. And is right. StitchCon 2019. I love bottom. that. This is absolutely lovely, Melissa. Can I see real quick? Mm -hmm. All the chronic and stuff. That's yeah, so it's got cool. a lot of chronic in it. You can see the jingle. Jingle. The you jingle. You can see the sparkly. Those. This is lovely. It's so freaking I cute. I love this. We should put, I have not attempted a Biscorn U myself. We should put those in with the um, with the Stitchcon Smalls in the basket I got from my Smalls, from Debbie from my Smalls Exchange. 
Yeah. So all the stitch com stuff can go in there. That would be a good idea. Everyone Isn't that it. adorable? So, Melissa, Neely's Needle Nest. Go watch our channel. And it's just so well done. I it's can't. just, yeah, it's it's spectacular. It is. And then for me, look mm -hmm. at this lovely handmade card with yeah. a lovely written The cards. Note. These people who do cards. Are so good. Oh, my gosh. I can't even handle my life how good they are. Yeah. And then um, this is her really cute um, business card. And she gave me the hippo needle monitor because mm -hmm. of my love for hippos and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then she gave me this awesome cup. That's adorable. Like, that's just cute. What right? did the word say? Meow. Oh, duh. There. Okay. And then, yeah. Yeah. Lovely. And, and it slides open oh, yeah. and close, which, yeah. is, which is prime. Right. And then she made me a biscorn new too. This and is amazing. It says cats on it. Yep. And then look at the cats on it. Look at this freaking thing. Isn't that adorable? Oh, and the paw prints. And then it says Stitch 2019. Oh my goodness. It's so freaking cute. I love it. You know, I, I keep repeating, but the talent in that room. And it's really interesting, and I don't know, because I've never attempted a Biscornu, and Nor neither has I. Pam, right. is, the, and so I don't know if this is, like, just standard operating procedure, but it feels like the filling is, like, walnut shells and polyfill. I don't know. And I don't know if that's just how you do it. Melissa? Biscornu people? Biscornu people? Tell us. Yes. Um, and it's it, just lovely. It is. It's beautiful. So, yes. Thank you so much, Melissa. If you are not watching our channel, um, it will be linked below, and you need to go check it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So many people just stitched us stuff. I can't even handle it. I know. I know. Um, okay. That's your card? Yes. From this person? Yes. Or is it mine? Oh, that's mine. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. We'll so, get it together. Karen. Karen Bushyhead. Karen Bushyhead. Who we love. Stitched us both gifts. <laughs> Stitched us. I can't. Do you know when you're getting ready to go to a retreat and you think, okay, I got to get my small done. Right. These people made smalls for the smalls exchange. And then, on top of that. Stitched gifts for folks. Stitched gifts for folks. And I know for a fact that she did not just stitch things for us. She stitched things for yes for other people as well. Yes. So, holy guacamole, right. Karen. Right. You're amazing. All right. So this is this is the one she stitched for me. Mm -hmm. I absolutely I, <laughs> I love this. I love this. This is called Lighthouse. I love that. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Yes. Let me give you a close up of this. I love the colors. And she. Put a label on the back that says it was designed by Nath Nolu. I'm going to assume possibly an Etsy designer. I will check, and if so, I will link it below. She put it in lowercase, so N-A-T-H and then N-O-L-U. If you kind of like the style of this, there might be something in there for you. Maybe even you might want to get this design. It's so beautiful. And then she put that she stitched it for me, and then she put that it her was name. from her. Mm -hmm. So Karen, this is this is adorable. Yes. This this didn't take a couple of seconds to stitch. No, that's full coverage, people. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's just and it's so different and unique, and I I love the style of it. I love the style of it because As do I. Uh, you know, it just I love. I love everything about this. Yep. Karen, you're a dear. And um, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So thank you. Thank you very much. Again, very personalized, right? Right. And then for me, um, she um, wrote me a very, very, very sweet note. And I love it. Thank you so much, Karen. And then this is what she stitched for me. So this is called uh, Three Cats. Mandala. Mandala. There's a dash in between it or yeah. a slash. And then um, designed by All Perfect Patterns. Right. Who um, I will also look 
below and see look if below. It's, yeah. Look on Etsy to see yeah, if, if I have a feeling. Yes. So hold on. Okay, and then stitch for Stephanie Schaffner by Karen Bushyhead. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Aren't they fantastic? Aren't I those love adorable? them. Yeah. So that's me. Yeah. And that's Muffin and that's Mo. Yeah. So cute, right? The cat family. Sorry, cat family. Mm -hmm. I love it. Thank you, Karen. You did a spectacular job. And that is a lot of work. Yeah, because look at all the colors in there. All of the colors. Yeah, amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I love it. Hashtag, yep. obviously, yeah. Right. Okay. So this one... Oh, that's mine. <laughs> okay. This one is yours. Here is your card. Okay. You want me to take it out of this bag? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is... These were gifts that were left... Uh, given to us, uh, left on the table, mm -hmm. um, from our friend Linda. Yes. Um, and um, she was I, one I of wish the I sisters. Could, I wish. Well, I am going to show you just because you got to see this woman's handwriting. Oh my gosh, it's from beautiful. Mooresville, North Carolina. Look at this handwriting. It's it's like calligraphy. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. She was a dear. Oh, I wish I had. Spend and more time her talking. and her sister sat at the same table with Tony Weiss and her sister Beth, and it was the sisters' table. And oh my I, god! And I thought that it was, was amazing, wonderful. Um, a nice gift bag with inside, and I have been looking at these. Look at this. This is called so cute. This is called a gadget cushion. Have you seen these? They're awesome. Okay, so this is filled. I want to give you a good idea mm -hmm. of how this works. All right, so you've got a little loopy here, and you've got three loopies on top. I like that you call them loopies. And this is uh, handmade and filled with ground walnut shells. I don't know. Did she make this herself? There's a pattern that you can so get, So maybe apparently. she did. This is yeah. your gadget cushion. And what you can put in Oh, yeah, she sewed here, it to herself, yeah. That's what I'm asking. Oh, okay. So that's amazing. Right. Right? <laughs> so that's amazing. Yes. I mean, seriously. Absolutely, for sure. So this is what you could you could potentially do with this. And I've seen these, and I've been intrigued with them. So this is my first. Oh, have you? This might be my only one, but I love it. Um, set your cell phone in there. Yep. Get it? You put your glasses in there when you take them off at night. Um, in one of the Or loopies. your seam ripper, your pen, um, your seen? scissors. You can just slide them through these little loopy things, see? Uh -huh. The loopies. Again, um, with the loopies. Your threaded needles, you can just stick them in there. If you've got several threaded needles for... Oh, that's smart. No kidding. <laughs> Pam? The talent. The talent. I'm telling you, people. I'm telling you. So, there's an, there's an idea. Um, I'm sure you can find... Um, the pattern. The pattern for these. They're called gadget holders. Gadget cushion. Gadget cushion. Excuse me. Gadget cushion can sit right on your nightstand or your, or your stitchy so spot. Or your stitchy spot. All kinds of things. All kinds of potential. Not only that, she knit this. She knit this cute little, looks like a little mustard jar shape. It's okay. so cute. With this cute little pom pom on it. Dead. What would you do with that, you ask? Hello, how about earbuds? Mm -hmm. You know, you pull them out of your ears, you wind them around your fingers, and you just Pop keep them in, them there. in there for safekeeping. And then the cat's not going to be dragging them all around <laughs> the house. I've never seen one of our cats drag earbuds around the house. Well, but there's a first time they're not going to start because now I have an, an handmade knitted. You can put oh, it. Oh, that's funny. Place in your bra bag when washing. What's a bra bag? Well, <laughs> if you have fancier bras than you and I wear, oh. you might want to put them on the delicate cycle and put them in then. We don't care that much about how we wash our bras. Nope. That's perfectly transparent. Just putting it out there. But right. Maybe that's um, why I'm single. A lot of... <laughs> <laughs> maybe if I stepped up my bra game, I'd have a ring on it. <laughs> Oh, you never know where we're going to go. Just saying. Anyway, um, but uh, 
Thanks, but, Linda. <laughs> so that, oh boy, that's going to get comments. Yes, it is. But the point is, you would you could put it on delicate cycle in the washing Correct. machine and be fine. Yes. Whatever your delicates are. If they're not your bras, maybe they're something else. Who knows? And let's stop talking <laughs> about that. Well, but I, anyway, I want to show the people mine from yeah, Linda. Yeah, show, show here, everybody what you me, got. Pam. Oh, sorry. There's a system here. Okay. I'm all... I got, I got over you all the... fouled up, I know, with the bra comment. Okay. Okay, This yeah. is the lovely card that she gave to oh, me. Oh, that's cute. And then um, I also got a lovely needle minder of the ruby slippers. Yep. Love that. Yeah. Okay. And then um, she gave me one as well. Yeah. So... Yeah, yours is... And I know for a fact uh -huh. that she also gave one of these in her gift bag to her Smalls Exchange recipient. Oh, wow. wow. So, Isn't Linda nice? has been busy. Yeah, Linda's a peach. Oh, gosh. Yes. She is really And so, like, this little loopy here is for your pen. And then, right. or your stylus. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah. So, you it's... You could set... You could set You could do your, anything. Um, uh, anything. Tablet. In there to stabilize it. But it's like nice and stiff. I yes. like it. Yep. And then um, this is my little earbud case. Yep. Yep. So cute with a little pom-pom. Yep. I thought too, but um, because she did write on it, this is your earbud case or, question mark, you could use this as a little orc jar. I suppose. If you don't mm -hmm. you wear earbuds. Mm -hmm. Or if you had cheaters that you put on to stitch. A yeah. lot of people get those inexpensive eyeglasses at mm -hmm. the drugstore mm -hmm. just to give them a little boost in magnification. Mm -hmm. You could slip them in there. All kinds of uses. Your glasses are going to fit in here? Well, at least at least enough to to keep them in a more or less secure oh. place that they're not going to fall on oh, and okay. get I stepped like, on. I'm fall so down cute. and get stepped on. But, like, these are so cute. Yep. Thank you, Linda. Linda. Amazing. You're awesome. Yes. I love you. Yes. All right. Um, we're going to pause and unload the last box and then we will be back. Okay. 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 So. Had to do some shifting around. Had to do some shifting. Um, this gift is from a lovely woman who we had more pan than me, to be completely transparent, had done a lot of, um, chit chatting with, uh, online before, uh, StitchCon. And we know that she um, is a big Just Keep Stitching fan, and we love her for that. And so she came up to me and she said, I, will, you open, will you open my gift? I want to see you open it. And I was like, okay, okay. Um, and it was from, okay. So here's a really common thing that happens. Is that when you are in this community and you're friends with people and you see them post on any sort of social media, you in your brain think you know how to say their name yeah and then you're like oh sue simino and she's oh, yeah. like <laughs> she then the sue simino looks she at you rolled and, with it until she couldn't stand it any longer and she said oh by the way it's chimino right and i was like i'm an idiot awesome but in our conversation and seeing her name come through on different lists and you just assume and, it's sue you know and you just say sue simino and you just get to and she finally she said it's fine She's like, you can call me Hey You she, for all I she care She's a that. blast. Yeah. She said, only you and Pam can call me yeah. Sue Simino. Now she's she's Canadian born, but she yes. came from Texas. Texas. She was one of our Texans. Yes. So that's why she had me confused. Yeah. So, so she oh, made me this lovely card. Isn't that great? And that is her actual cat, Mr. Harlequin. Yeah. Yep. Whom I love. Yeah. And she gave me this really adorable Lisa Frank. Love that. From my childhood. Mm -hmm. um, needle minder, which is yep. very cute. Love it. Yeah. And then this awesome bag. And I think that this is so cool because it is made out of 80% recycled oh, yeah. plastic bottles. In a perfect world, every home would have a cat and every cat would have a home. Yeah. And I love this. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And thing. then hanging off of this is what she called a kitty in the garden scissor fob. Cute. So, love this. Yeah, color coordinated. Thanks, Look Sue. Yeah. Love Thanks, it. Sue. That was lovely. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is another birthday card. <sighs> yep. And it is. it is from Michelle. And she is Shaw Get Stitchy on Instagram. Yep. And um, love the card. And then inside was a uh, lovely 
wine bottle needle minder. That is freaking beautiful. I Isn't love that. Isn't that gorgeous? Who makes, who'd she get that from? Uh, hold on. Sorry. I didn't know it'd be uh, so difficult. Yeah, it's going to be, but hold, I will, I will look. <clears throat> hold please. Yep. You got it. Yeah. Wow. I'll tell you what. That it's, freaking needle minder strong. The Meredith, Meredith collection. Ooh, shoot. We'll get it, Pam. Don't worry. Okay. We we'll gotta, get it. We're, we're going to retrieve that because that is one strong, strong magnet. Magnet. And it was little and it was silver. I think it went under the table. Okay, well, we'll get it. Don't worry, Pam. Okay, so. But it's from this place called the Meredith Collection. I don't know anything about it. Does it say? And we have a magnet wand, remember? Oh, that's right. So we'll get it. A nice bottle of rosé. Love that, it. That might go with tonight's dinner. Oh, I'll man. Be perfectly honest. What are we having for dinner tonight? I don't know, but something that goes with rosé. Okay. And hello. Now I put lipstick on just now. Um, I'll do it. And Stephanie's actually a better. <clears throat> Wait, don't jump. We got kazoos. How many people did that frighten to death? Yeah, sorry. Hopefully you, a lot. Did you fall off your stitching chair? Hand, hand, No, you can't say words, but you have to hum. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I didn't say words. I just buzzed that time. Okay, so she's much better at it. I am. So when we do Pam's pin comment, we are kazoo ready. We We're are kazoo ready. Kazoo ready, so, people. Yeah. So I, this goes back I to don't, the bell. I don't know whether All those came... I'll be honest with you. I don't know that those came from Michelle or somebody just left them on my table and I put them in Michelle's bag. To be for completely transparent. For transparency sake. Huh. But we, we 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 got kazoos. This bag matches that big gift bag that I got my smalls exchange on. Well, isn't that special? It is so special. All right. So um the next set of gifts came from the lovely Lindsay at Lindsay the Scruffy Kitty. Right. And she gave, um... She actually did her own video of us opening our gifts. Yeah, but she only posted to the SitchCon group. Right. So, um, right. yeah. Which so is there's, fine. um... So uh, she just got married in November. Right. And, um, she had some custom wines made for right. her wedding. Right. So she brought a couple for Pam. She didn't know that I didn't drink, but that's okay. Um, all right. the more for Pam. <laughs> and so, um... So Heritage Wine Cellars in, um, in Northeast, two words, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Dutch Apple Spice Wine. That sounds interesting. It does. And Dark Cherry Wine. Dark sounds cherry. A, sounds yeah. a little like Boone's Farm, but that's okay. It's going to be good. It's going to be For good. For you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Clinkity clink. Yes. And then she's also gave us, and so they have this, like, you can make. Yeah, um, you know, have your picture put on picture the label the if it's your wedding or Which whatever. kind of cool. Something like that. Yeah. That's kind of cool. And so then. That was nice. Um, she also. Gave us some needle minders with mm -hmm. her business cards, which is right. good to have. Yep. Yep. Got two of them. Yep. Lovely. And, sorry. Just got to get to the bottom of the bag. Whoop. Okay, you can show those. Yeah. So, um, a lovely see. pair of scissors that look like there's a lighthouse on there. So, yep. that was nice. And yep. a lovely note. Yep. To, I just want to get it off of here. Oh, please. All right. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, she gave me this lovely pouch with hippos on it. Mm -hmm. And inside is an entire set of cat stud earrings. Isn't that nice? Which is really cool. Look at all those kitties. Oh, you know what? what? The thing that goes with these pants is over there. So you'll just have to tell them about it. Okay. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Because I cannot get through this massive no, mess I've just no, we been can't. making over here. We do not have wings to nope. fly across the room. If I did, I would. Yeah. Um, okay. The ornament down there. Yep. So she gave us both um, these S ornaments, which I'm assuming is for Shackner. Right. So those will go on our Christmas tree this year. Right. And then um, she made the, this, which is pants. And then yellow scissors for banana. So banana pants. And these scissors, which she painted yellow, which are beautiful. Yeah. And then um, a little holder for the scissors. 
yeah. of banana pants. So there you go. So there you go. Yeah. Perfect. Lovely. Thank you, Lindsay. Yep. I appreciate it so much. Yep. Okay. Um, this was <clears throat> our second time getting to sort of meet and hang out with Corey, the oh, yeah. silent stitcher. Oh, yeah. So um, she, if you are unaware, is deaf. Right. Um, and so we actually, um, you know, we wanted to make sure that her experience at TitchCon was just as wonderful as every, everyone else's. Right. And so we got um, some interpreters for her for sign language. And from the posts I've seen from her and the pictures I've seen of Worked her. Perfectly. It was great. So, and I talked to the interpreters. Oh, and, did you? And oh, they good. had a lovely time. Good. Yeah. So um, there were a couple of teams, I think, at different points in the... In the weekend that yep. they uh, came in and were happy to do it, and yeah. uh, and I I walked by at one point and Corey was talking to uh, some other stitchers in the room and and I could hear the interpreters um, doing their job and it worked out lovely. Oh, good. good yeah, yeah, it was it was just perfect. Awesome. So these are from Corey yes. and we met her as Stephanie started to say at Galleria last fall. Mm -hmm. We'll probably see her again because she's from the St. Louis area. We hope. We so um, yeah, and we just love Corey to death. We do. Um, so cute little oh my gosh isn't that a cute little card just a dog in a basket yep for from Corey and um i don't mm -hmm. know if she makes these i don't know either i don't, I don't think, think so. so i don't think so <laughs> all together now. so blue sea salt candles candles well isn't yours that lovely is, yours is blue sea salt can i smell yours yeah it's lovely oh wow it's just I like lovely that. yeah yeah That's yeah it's a good bathroom candle. Mm -hmm. yeah that's what i thought yeah yeah just great minds yeah, yeah. Yep. and um she gave me the thank you, Pam. I, Pam just tapped on the card on the table as if I was going to forget. This is the first time we ever shown a gift. So <laughs> don't forget to show the card. So this is... <laughs> Bam. <sighs> Cute little cat in a... Yeah. What is that called? A flower pot? A flower pot. Yep. I don't go outside much. So um, <laughs> so very sweet note. Yeah. Very, very sweet note. Yes. Thank you, Corey. And then she gave me... Okay... Sea salt and pineapple candle. Oh boy! And it smells really good. We smell. I was worried about how pineapple and salt Ooh. salt was going to smell. I like that. But that smells very mm. summery, very out here barbecue. I yeah, love it. Yeah, yeah. As I don't know because I don't go outside, but yeah. I can very make, thoughtful. Thanks, Corey. I can make it smell like an outside barbecue inside. Oh, I wish I. That just said, hi, Corey, I love you. I think. Okay. okay. I hope. I hope. I know. Oh, it didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't. No, it definitely said I love oh, you. Oh, dear. Okay. I think, yep, this is yours. Because okay. of the socks. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, there was We're a, nearing the end, people. Yeah, I yeah we're near the end. And and we're, we're sort of leaving some really good stuff for the end. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Everything is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh yeah, we have that over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I we want to do this first? Yeah. All right. So hold off. They give. Those. Okay. Okay. So we had a couple of gals from Virginia. Yes. Virginia, and they wanted to make sure you knew they came from Virginia. All right. <laughs> so they gave us stuff. And again, quite personalized. Yes. The cards. The cards are in. Hold that then. <laughs> oh god no 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 no. they're right in the side like there's a pocket oh, yeah. up by oh, the yeah. okay so two cards lovely cards um uh that they both one signed. addressed to staff and one addressed to me Bam. and um the um it's holly and linda holly and linda from virginia from Vir stop saying virginia like that um but they put from our home state of virginia yes they the did. <laughs> they're very proud of how being we from virginia. every time we say virginia yeah. Let's take a swig of Mountain Dew. <laughs> All right. So the first thing out of this huge bag was Pam's gift. Was my gift. It's and amazing. I just love it. They know that I love <laughs> Charles Wysocki art. Okay. And it's look so cool. at this amazing pillow, you guys. Yes, it's this big. <laughs> look at this. America. Does that say Virginia or what? Pam, stop saying Virginia. <laughs> no, they're laughing with me, aren't you? <laughs> Wait, but I have a dumb this. question. What? Is Charles Wysocki from Virginia? I don't remember where he's from. Oh, okay. I think he's from someplace like Missouri. 
Okay, well, and you can tell that it's Charles Wysocki art because his signature's right there. Right, right. I have a big coffee table book of all of his, mm, yeah. all of his art. It's right over there, and um, so I don't know the name of this painting, but it was obviously uh, embroidered it's on this beautiful. pillow. Beautiful, and it's just absolutely lovely, very patriotic, and yeah, I absolutely okay. love this. You guys, she does. You guys. Yes. So much so it's not even going to be allowed in the living room. Yeah, it's going to go in my... It cat it's going to be out. on my bed because I don't want cats playing with it. Right. Hope you understand. What, I will enjoy it. The cats will not. Pamela. Because yeah. it's black on the back and cat. within half a day it will be covered in cat hair. Correct. All right. They also sent this huge... Oh, oh yeah. man. I'm so glad we're showing this because I want to... Yeah, I want to know how good they really are. These are Virginia Gourmet Parker's Peanuts. How good are your nuts, Virginia? <laughs> and there's Mr. Parker on the back. There's Mr. Parker. What did they say? It's if Parker. you are looking for the very finest, most flavorful peanuts to offer your friends and family, you'll find it in Parker's Peanuts. All right, so Parker, Parker's Peanuts are made in Cortland, Virginia. And um, they... Uh, were the vision of the vision of U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Fred Parker. Um, he served his country for for 30 nearly years. thirty years, wow. and then he returned to southeastern Virginia, and it is a region known for high quality, extra large peanuts. Virginia peanuts. So there you go, man. I can't oh man, wait to these try are these. not going to last. I love. Snacking on nuts and yes. um, delicious. They, they are big. You can tell from the package. They yeah, are look big. at how big those are. Yeah. yeah. These are not your average ballpark peanut people. No, no. Those, these are not Mr. Peanut Peanuts. No, they're not. Okay. So, Stephanie got this. Well, Here's, show them that first. Okay. Here. So, hold that. Yep. So, Stephanie got this, which she has... Um, Graciously passed on. She's to passed Pam. on to me, which Steph is fine because it will be empty not, soon. Stephanie does not drink. And um, look at this lovely cab. This is from the Jefferson Vineyards. Jefferson. I mean, that's cool. As in Virginia. As in Thomas. Look at that. Yeah. This is from Charlottesville, people. Yep. Charlottesville. Pam, guess, so, what, guess what your wine bottle counts up to? I don't know. Um, five? Five. Plus the baby rosé. Oh, my God. So that's five and a half, like. Yes. And then for said bottle of wine. Yes. They gave me this lovely wine bottle stand. Isn't that cute? So this is what, look, it needs, like, hold the pie. Yeah. And so this is what Beautiful. we're going to do. Yeah. So Pam's going to. Oh, I'm going to oh, do oh. my part. She's going to drink the wine. Right. And then we're going to clean the bottle out, and we're going to put it in here with some of those, like, Probably timed... soak the labels off. Yeah. No. No? I want the Jefferson label on it. Oh, okay. Okay. Calm oh, down. Calm down. Because I got to remember my friends from Virginia. Right. And um, then we're going to get those lights. Yeah. That are on like a timer or whatever and put them inside the... Wouldn't that be cool? Super cool. Nod your head, yes. Good moment. Good idea. So this is super, super cool. I love this a lot. Yeah. That's yes. lovely. So thank you, girls. Oh, my gosh. The girls from Virginia. Yes. All right. Okay. So, so, here, give me that bag. Whoa, that was a big bag. Because it had the pillow on it. All right. Okay. Is this it? No. We no. have this, and then we have this, and then we have these, and then we're done. All right. So, so three things. All right. So, there was the Virginia contingent, or partly. Yes. And then there was the main contingent. Yes. Now, except for Rebecca, whom I got to know, who came from Brewer, mm -hmm. um... That made one. Who I really wish I talked to more. Two, three, four. Manus. Manus. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Uh, three of whom I had known before. Mm -hmm. um, two of them were there last year. Yep. Cheryl and Penny. Yes. And Jan and Rebecca were new this year. Yes. And then we saw Jan and Cheryl at Frugal Yankee we the did. last time. And um, so, and we've seen Penny at Midwest. So. Yeah. We've had prior exposure to the Mainers. To the Mainers, and we got to know Rebecca this time. Rebecca, so, I'm sorry. I really wish. Oh I'd yeah, talk but to you we're more. good. We're good. I chatted with her 
She's she's great. Because I want to know like where she lives in Burr since I like lived there. I know, <laughs> but um, but I didn't because I saw. We'll we'll okay. see her again. Okay. So these cute little, um, you know, main bags. Main bags. Yep. Adorable. These, these are gifts from Cheryl and Jan. Yes. So these are from Cheryl and Jan, and so um, since we kind of got like kind of one and the same. We'll just show them we'll together. We'll show them together. Okay. So, um, this is a joint card from Cheryl and Jan together. Yep. Lovely. And whenever I say Cheryl's name, I go, Cheryl Conley, pull the main. Yep, that's right. And so she signed it. Cheryl she Conley, it. pull she the main. She loves it. Okay, so we got... Okay. We'll do this in, in... In unison. In unison. So we got lovely notepads. Yes. Main lobster. Yep. Main lobster. Yep, love it. These go with the post-it notes. We got... Oh, yeah, these things, which are yeah, really cool. Yeah, these are very cool. These are spiced mug mats. Which are very cool. Which are very cool. You put your um, hot mug on them, and um, as long as your contents um, are distributed, your spices are distributed evenly in the pad, it's it good. will produce a... Um, an aroma of yes. the spices. It's and got chips, uh, wow, all natural cinnamon chips, cloves, and all spice. Yeah. Yeah. That's these, really cool. These are cool. And Cheryl, and uh, they all know that we love, I love geraniums, so that was cool. There you go. And then um, we got these, um, what are they, these called now? Koozies. Koozies. Can't, or. Coolies. Canned coolies, technically. So, okay, you here I go. It. So this is. Nicole, what this, Listen. Listen. So, um, I gotta say it and then show it because I gotta read it. Right. Uh, wicked efficient drink cooler from Maine. Keep sodas and beers wicked cold, dear. Yeah. There you go. So, love it. Love it. All right. Now we're gonna go to the candy. Yep. I got Boston baked beans. Stephanie got Boston baked beans. I've never had these. Oh my God, we grew up on these things. <laughs> oh my God. It's a food group. That's Boston hilarious. Baked Bean Candy. All right. It's a food group. Now these are very cool. Yes, these are super, super neat. So what these are. I don't know where they found them. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say something that um, um, they'll appreciate. Okay. They might have come from Rennie's. <laughs> oh, really? If you know anything about Maine. Rennie says everything. I think that they're um, higher quality than Rennie's, Pam. Well, I don't know. So they they fold out into what do they become? They become tote bags, right? Look at that tote bags! Holy moly! They become they fold out. To they become, start like this, and they're personalized. And when you unfold all the folds, that's what happens. That's and it says, it Pamela, she needed a hero. So that's what she became. And mine says... Hashtag, obviously, duh. I don't know how to get this back together. <laughs> Your yeah. next job. And mine says, Stephanie, she believed she could, so she did. Isn't that, isn't that great? Which so is wherever really you cool. got these from, girls, we love them. I don't think they got them at Rennie's. Okay, so... Wherever. I strongly, I feel very strongly about the fact that they do not come from This Reddit. is a good thing to take on a trip, don't you think? I think to Holland. And that's then, really cool. I know. I'm so glad you opened yours up because I kind of had a feeling that was what. I can't get this damn thing back together, though. <laughs> to save All right. Soul. Cheryl, you're going to have to come back and put mine yeah. together. All right. So did you get a pail? Nope. Oh, okay. So in mine, I got a red pail with contents, okay. as you can see. And inside the pail was a manicure set. Yep, I got a manicure set too. Always, always handy. Always handy. A refrigerator magnet with lots of mini Yeah, that's like really on. cool. That's really very cool. It's going right in the fridge. Right and I got the this one. Yep. Love. Home. Yep. Got a um, key fob mm -hmm. oh. with a red heart. It says Maine. Mine's Yours purple. is purple. Got a um, scissor, scissor fob, red, white, and blue. Oh, that's cute. I didn't Anchors. see that. Isn't that cute? Very cute. Very cute. And. Oh, this is so funny. <coughs> a needle minder. Check it. It's all about that base, baby. It doesn't say baby. No. But. 
All about that base. It's cute. It's a baseball themed needle minder. Correct. And these are so funny. Summer socks. That's my jam. Get it? Because this is strawberry. Listen to the you music. You guys are too much. You know we love you. Yes. And uh, we can't wait to see you. In March. In March when we come back. Yes. Um, so frugal. Because it will be like coming home. And you that's that. all I'm going to say because then I'm going to cry. And they gave me these Christmas needle minders. This one says, yep. I believe in, hold on. I believe in Santa. And this is Santa himself. And then they gave me this little wristlet that says Stephanie I. Yep. Which I obviously love. Right. And then the bags, which are just great. Which are, yeah, which are great. Which we obviously love. So, and a bunch of salt water taffy yes, in the bottom. Yes, yes. Salt water taffy Let's not the forget the salt water taffy. Do not forget the salt water no. taffy, Pam. No. Don't forget it. All right. So. Okay, so. Those are from our main girls. Yes. And. We love you. Then we came home and we got them. What the, are we going to do? We're going to do. Freebie no. table, or what are we going to do? Um, we're going to do, yeah, sort of. Let's do freebie table next. Yes, okay, so. You've stuck with us this long. Right. So you might as well. So, um, Glenda, our yeah. lovely, lovely Glenda, we finally, finally. <laughs> finally met Glenda. Finally got to meet Glenda, which is just like. Yeah. Glenda donated all the pralines. Yes. Which was amazing. Yes. And she had these magnets made. Yes. So, obviously, the top is our faces. And then this is all of our statements. You know. Our statements. Dead on the floor. Banana all of pants, our expressions that happy we Happy finishes, use. everyone. All the things. Yeah. So, those will be going on the fridge. And we also got the extras. Right. So, so look for those in the if future you, giveaway. If you get something from us, it might contain one. Yes. You never know. And then... Um, Leslie from Under the Sea Fabrics. Right. Um, she was there. And she had this thing where if you went to go talk to her or meet her or whatever. I mean, I already knew her, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, I went to go talk to her. And she was like, pick a chip. So right. I did. And um, then she gave me this bag. And then inside the bag is a freebie chart designed by her called Feel and Stabby. I don't want to show the chart, but that's what I got. Yeah. And then I got a refrigerator magnet for Under the Sea Fabrics. Very good. And then a package of um, buttons. So yes. I'm excited about those. Okay. Love that. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you for the chart. I love it. Right. Um, Stephanie at Lindy Stitches. She was also there. Had a trunk show. It was great fun. And she designed this adorable freebie. For those of us in attendance, mm -hmm. and I love him. I oh, can't wait to stitch him. Yeah, he's adorable. It says, you can probably stitch this adorable turtle a lot faster than he can deliver his valentine, even though he's in a hurry. That's really, really cute. Isn't that cute? Super precious. Yeah. So I'm very excited to have that. So most of these things are things that are brought for us from their own stashes or had found on the freebie table and gave to us. Or went, were on their way to put them on the freebie table and then kind of thought of us and said, wouldn't you like this? So that yes. was very thoughtful. Okay. So um, someone brought me this, and it is um, Erica Michaels, um, and it's called I Saw Three Ships. And I love that Christmas song, and I think that's adorable. How does it go? I saw a I'm not going to sing. Neither am I. <laughs> that one? Yep. Um, this was brought for the freebie table from Apple from Natick Mass. And she's a floss tuber. Yeah, Apple. Who's your sister? Who's your, who's your Apple? Who's your Apple? That's right. Yeah. Sorry. And so, Who's your Apple? Yeah. She said, I'm, I'm on my way to put this on the freebie table. Do you want it? And I went, patriotic? Yes, Grab. please. Yes, thank you very much. So thanks, Apple. Um, it's so cute. Didn't we just see that like finished on Instagram or something? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay, who did these come from? Um, someone just even, brought right. them to my to table you. and said, you know, do with what you will. Um, this is uh, an old leisure arts chart of lighthouses designed by Thomas Tawny Hill. And um, there are a couple in this leaflet that um, kind of, they don't say officially, but they kind of resemble a couple of main lighthouses. So I really appreciate getting that. Mm -hmm. And then, isn't this interesting? These are Oberlin samplers. And Oberlin was M.M. Um, Waldock in um, 
Oberlin, Ooh. Ohio. Oh, that's the name of them. Yeah. Okay. I was like, but Who? these are all Ohio, but all three are different, which is very cool. Which is very cool. I've never seen any of them. So this is Ohio. Very cool. Okay. Handwritten charts, people. Yeah, handwritten charts. So these are kind of like monuments, like Air and right. Space Museum. This is also. Oh, this is called. Wait a minute. What's that say on the back? Ohio graphic. Okay, so that's Ohio graphic. This is called Ohio map. Ah, okay. Got it? I've done several of these and have many more to do. And what's that one and called? And this one's called Ohio Early Transportation. Look at that. Look at that. That's really cool. I like that one. Maybe yeah. the best. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So these were brought. Then somebody... I'll do this one first. Yeah. Somebody was on their way to the freebie table to put this one down, and I went, I'll take that off your hands for you. Hats off to Uncle Sam. You've seen this stitched. You don't have that already? Uh, well, we're going to find out when we put yeah, everything we are. away. <laughs> yeah, we but are. But I grabbed it just on the off chance that we didn't. It's so cute. Didn't have it. Who brought these? Julie, Julie McCall brought so Julie, you those. Julie said um, to Stephanie, give these to your mom. These are old, and I'm going to say, yeah. 98, 99, and 2000. Old Stony Creek magazines. The good years, people. That had the Light of Christmas series in them. And I love these. So I'm, I'm glad to have these, Julie. And to she didn't even collection. see them until, like, what, Monday night? Yeah. <laughs> After it's just I, love, I love this one. I love the style of this one. This <laughs> yeah, that's very my Christmassy. favorite. That's my favorite. With the star mm -hmm. in the sky. Uh, and this one. So they're, they were part of a big series Stony Creek did back in the late 90s. And they're 90s style, but I like doing them. I think, like, months ago, Julie had messaged me pictures of these and asked me if you would want them. And, and you said, never sure. answered? No, of course oh, I answered oh, her. Oh, course I well, answered she was her. probably cleaning out. Probably. Um, okay, so then these were charts. Okay, I know who this came from. Right. Okay, do you know who this came from? No. Okay, so these two charts are charts that we don't remember who gave it to us, and I'm very sorry. Right. But I think it, that it was the occasion where they were, like, on their way to put it on the freebie table and stop to see if we wanted them first. Right, right, which so, is great. Which is so thoughtful. Because I didn't have time to get to that freebie table. Nope, I didn't either. Mm -hmm. uh, and frankly, I didn't need to. So, no, um, but... But this is the one that I was given, which is Pink Hill Manor, Anniversaries of the Heart, Pattern 4. Right. From Blackbird Designs. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Give me that chart. <laughs> and this one is from the old Tree Trunk Designs, which is 1997, people. Uh, Diamond by the Sea and uh, a lovely verse. So, another lighthouse chart. It's very, very cute, though. Very, very nice. And that'll stitch up quick, Pam. Oh, yeah. Words. Right. Um, lovely Marissa, who I got to spend some serious time with, and so did Pam. Yeah. And she is one of those people who, like, you've talked to back and forth. I've talked to her on the phone before. Oh, yeah. And whether it was at the shop or on my personal phone. Right. And she is a big Pam and Steph fan and is a Canadian and all the things. Yeah. And it was so... I actually met her on a Wednesday. I had gone outside, and she was there. And I didn't recognize her, because I don't know who she is, right? Because, like... Instagram, whatever. Right. And then I was like, oh my God, you're Marissa? And it was like all the beautiful things. And I. Well, and not is her Instagram. Yes. Name. She's very, very, very active on Instagram. And um, I, we hope. She's that, a crack up. We love her to death. Yes. So, what meeting her was like, what meeting Debbie Bernheisel was like, yeah. what meeting Kyle was like, is what Kyle says in his video, which is like that moment. Where you meet that person in real life for the very first time is a special moment yes. that you will never get back. That's right. And it's like, it's not sad like you never want it to happen, but it's like, just just go back and think about that moment when right. your brain is like, mm -hmm. I'm meeting this beautiful human. And it's like, your world will never be the same again. Right. And it's a beautiful thing. Yes. So it's beautiful the way that I said beautiful seven times, but just the way that Kyle described it, well, I was like, and, that and is Debbie right. Said in, in, the, in her video, she said it's, for her stitch con was a life changing event. Yeah. Imagine that we put on a life changing event <coughs> for some people. I mean, no, that's, that's, that's very meaningful. Yeah. And that's it's very humbling. Meaningful. Yes. To know that. And it's, it's, it's the same for us. Oh, it's the same Mosey. for us. Oh, Mosey, what do you want? Okay, so Marissa yeah. brought me this lovely pattern, and it was, 
thank you all because I got about eight different messages from people yeah, more than offering oh my God. to send me this chart or tell me where it was being sold. And yeah. so I now have this. Yeah. And this is a Saturday evening post yep. Halloween tricks. Yep. I was telling Dina how famous she became in yeah. the comments because, because Dina everybody was, the was telling us Dina just finished it. Dina just finished it. And um, I said, I didn't want to bug you, Dina, because I assumed you passed it on. And of course she had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we also had several offers. I love it. It's just adorable. Uh, what was the year on that? Wow. Oops, sorry. So I don't need my eyeballs. Sorry, 1935. Sorry. 1935. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Thank you, Marissa. Yeah. Um, and this is a pattern that has been a year coming. So, um, one of just lovely delights of the world yes. is Robin at Samplerberg. Right. Um, she doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of videos, but she is very active on Instagram, like posting oh, yeah, pictures yeah. and stitching and things. And she, last year at SitchCon, 2018, she brought kind of like a small basket of all of these really, really cute things. And inside of one was this little stitch item that said Kindred Spirits United in Stitches. And it was like three girls and it was super cute. Right. And I said, Robin, where did you get this chart? I need this chart. I need to stitch it. And she was like, oh, I designed it. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. And she was like, yeah, I'll email you the chart. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't until StitchCon 2019 where I actually received the chart, which is totally fine. It's not like I have been sitting around with nothing to stitch. Yeah, yeah. Let's be clear. Yeah. Um, and so this is what they look like. Yeah. And this is just obviously a digital rendering of them. And then the right. charts are inside. Um, and I'm so happy to get them. She did say that she was going to be working on um, doing ones where, like, the girls were wearing jeans and stuff. So I'm excited to see those, too. But these are super cute. I love them. Thank you so much, Robin. Yeah, I yeah. Love them it was so great much. to see Robin again. Yes. And then um, the last in our chart pile is a package that I got from Deb Yoko. Yeah. We've been saying your last name wrong this all time. this time, yep. and now we're corrected. And this is the Deb Yoakum from Punch, Punch Needle, Needle and Stitcher. Primitive Stitcher Magazine. Yes. Had a great conversation with Deb. About As did I. At her origin story and publishing and all that kind of stuff. She's a delight. Yes. And so meeting her was, um, again, a long time coming. You know, we would talk to her and talk right. to her and talk to her. And um, we know that she does a lot of business with the girls at Twin Peak and all of the, that stuff. And right. so we were like, it was just really nice to meet. Well, it was people. really not much after last year last year's stitch con that deb notified barbara that she wanted to do a feature article on keepsakes mm -hmm. for the spring issue this year yeah. and um and then she's gonna do an article about her stitch con experience in the next oh issue. wonderful mm -hmm. oh wonderful so not in the summer issue yeah. at least that's what she told me i mean sorry Je deb if, yeah if you don't know big deal but that's what i thought um that'll be great yes and so Deb had messaged me probably a month or so before SitchCon, and she said to me, Hey, uh, are you interested in the Beatles charts or Blackbird designs? And I was like, uh, yeah, because I want the whole series. So she asked me which ones I had. I told her. And then she said, okay, I'll bring you the rest. And I was like, well. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, you should have them. Yeah. So she did. So um, I she brought me four. Yellow submarine. Mm -hmm. Because uh, for those of you that don't know, um, these are slowly going out of print one by slowly one. Slowly one by one. Going so if print. you can find them, yeah. get them. Um, Octopus Garden. Mm -hmm. um, and, like these are in perfect condition. Yeah, they're pr like, pristine. Literally perfection. Yeah, yeah. So now my um, collection is complete now that I got these four. Um, and then this is uh, Blackbird, which I love this. Mm -hmm. And that will stitch up so fast. Right. Love it. Right. And then this is the PS de Resistance because this one is officially out of print and is going for ass nine amounts of money on eBay already. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it is going to stay. It's the first one. Kindly in my collection. And oh, yeah. it is Eleanor Rigby and Sweet Baby. Yeah. So, oh, that's, mm -hmm. that's Sweet Baby. Mm -hmm. I think I like this color one better. Mm -hmm. But either way, it's beautiful. Right. I love it so much. Yep. Okay. So, like Pam said earlier... <clears throat> We had all of these lovely gifts. Thank you to each and every one of you. Lovely, lovely folk. I hope you we, enjoyed seeing the stuff and, and took it in the spirit that it is being sent out into the World Wide Web. We 
are not worthy of your love. No. I mean, like... We don't even come all, close. All we do is sit here and make videos, and we're so glad that you love it, and we're so glad that you yeah. are loving CrossFitch as much as we are, and I, like I said in our video we posted yesterday, we, you know, get kudos and thank you for everything that we did to make StitchCon happen, but let's be clear, StitchCon wouldn't happen if no one would come. Yeah. So, without the attendees... It would not have been the amazing experience that it was. Everybody that was there was a part of it. Absolutely, for sure. Played a significant role. Absolutely. Yes. So, <clears throat> StitchCon happened, yeah. and then we got the mail. Yeah. So, we need to do the thing for the people because they haven't heard it in two weeks. Mail call! Okay. And the only reason that we're showing it in this video right. is because it came from a lovely, lovely woman who came to StitchCon. Right. So she sent us this beautiful, beautiful card. Again, yep. handmade, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And it says, wishing you a lovely day. And this is Chris, and she lives in um, Minnesota. Right. We love our Minnesotans. Right. So she sent this really cool postcard with the state of Ohio on uh -huh. it. I love that. Uh-huh. Um, and then she sent, and I think these are little note cards, but I didn't want to take this apart. But it's got a little anchor, mm -hmm. and it says... Um, for you and it's like really really cute but cute so I'm, cards. I'm gonna take it apart and um, right. look at it right. so when chris was in the smalls exchange at stitch con she caused a bit of a stir she did in a good way because everyone was like oh m freaking g i need to stitch that and if you've seen photos or instagram posts or whatever of the smalls exchange you'll know that chris stitched a campbell's soup can chart called cream of ort soup right and then it's finished on a soup can it was a freebie back in the late 90s mm -hmm. from raise the roof raise the roof designs yep. and i remembered it because i printed it off as maybe someday to do mm -hmm. and when this was set on the on the table after her recipient got it everybody was Buzzing about this. They were like, where can we and get this? It was only us veteran stitchers. Veteran stitchers. Who remembered stitchers. when this chart was done by Teresa and Susie. Susie. Yep. So she sent us a copy of the freebie chart, which we had already had in our stash. Right. But we appreciate that. Right. But we don't really need it because she gave us our own. Are you dead on the floor? So. So that she, Chris, you are brilliant. Yes. Because the chart actually is charted for you to stitch this red. Uh, no thank you. So this is um, red Ada. Mm -hmm. This is white Ada. And then she just sewed them together, which is like the most freaking genius thing ever. And then this is, it says cross stitch, condensed with a little label, cream of ort soup, even complete with a freaking barcode. Net weight one ounce. Like, this is the cutest thing ever. Yeah. And then it's a cleaned out can, and you put your orts in it. Like, that's cute. Like, no kidding. Can you see why there was a buzz in the room over yes. this? Yes. Everyone was like, where do I get that? Where do yeah. I get that? Where do I get that? I'll put that away. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so Stephanie's opening that and going, oh my <laughs> gosh, we got a can. And I'm like, this is amazing. This is amazing. So, in the lovely card from Chris... She has kind of like listed the things that were in the box. And I read it and then I just kind of like, I took a double take and then I was like, that's, she didn't mean that. So I'm like reading and then I get to the bottom of the box and I'm like, what? 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 So I will read you the words that she put in the cart. Not all of them, but these words. Um, number two. Xmas... At Hawk Run, I, as in Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow, I stitched this and have just been waiting for the right person to give it to. So you would think it would be maybe the chart that she's done with because she stitched it. And I even thought that maybe it was like one of the blocks that she's made into a Christmas ornament or something. And never in a million years... No. Never in a million years was I expecting this. Are you even serious, Chris? Holy freaking banana pants. 
Okay, people, this is beautiful. Like, this is beautiful. And you bet your ass we're getting it framed. And it's going to hang on our wall at Christmas. We were blown away. So, I was telling um, some friends about this. And as stitchers, stitchers, mm -hmm. as we understand the the gesture that this is and right what this means right and how much love and energy and effort and time, time and all of the things went into making this incredible piece of needlework that I don't understand I, I this is the kind of generosity that I have a very hard time getting my getting around getting it in my heart and head People I don't love us, Pam. I just. That's wild. But it's beautifully, beautifully, beautifully stitched. It's stunning. It will be framed. Oh, yeah. And it will hang in our home. Absolutely. And, and we so, so. We're going to um, have something stitched or labeled. Yeah. That it was stitched by Chris. Yes. In her last name, mm -hmm. and that she was part of StitchCon 2019. Look at that cardinal block. Yeah. Look at the Happy New Year block. Yeah. 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 So this was stitched on 32 count linen, um, and it even still has the Stitchville USA label on it because that's her LNS. Yeah. And um, in white mocha linen, and I think it was stitched in DMC, but maybe it was stitched in. Um, Silks, but I think it's DMC. No, no, it's DMC. Okay. Yeah, it's DMC. And it's just beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. So So we come home with all of these presents, <laughs> you guys. And then this comes in the mail. And we're just like, this is our life now. <laughs> what? What? Like, that's wild. What is happening in the universe? Wild. There are good people out there. Okay, we are good people. They are good people. All of them that watch this. It's amazing. It's this amazing. is a really fantastic community to be a part of. Yes, it is. You know, I really, if I yes. could pick a community to be in. It would be this It would one. be this one. Let's pick cross stitch. What Let's do you say? just pick it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is that come up? Is that? <laughs> that's everything. That's the grand finale. So this that's is going to be over two hours long. We understand that. Right. But everyone deserves their to, time. These things needed to be shown. Absolutely. They, uh, our, our comments needed to be said. Mm -hmm. Our thanks needed to be expressed. Yes. And um, those that um, uh, generously gave of their time and effort and will, be, will be personally thanked. Yes. So, so this is just the online uh, StitchCon thank you card. Yes. Addition. Exactly. So we plan on uploading this video. Yes. Excuse me. And then recording a regularly scheduled episode 104 tomorrow. So yeah. bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. And um, oh, now uh, I got the hiccups. Oh, now she's got the hiccups. Oh, God. So <laughs> it's um, not that bad, Pam. It's not a dead. <laughs> it's good. I'm good. All right. Okay. So uh, that's going to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. um, this will go up tonight. Yep. Um, here it's about six. O'clock in the evening, and um, it's been a restful uh, Saturday. It has. Uh, we're getting all re-energized um, from StitchCon, and um, we okay. are we are very pleased with with everything that we were involved in in this uh, stupendous event. Yes. Uh, we hope that uh, we hope that those of you who are there with us had as great a time as we had putting it on. And those of you who are sharing it vicariously, we hope you're enjoying hearing all about it. Um, make sure that you go go and check out the playlist of everybody else. Yes, because we're adding con. videos to it daily. Yeah, people are people putting them, put up them up, and, um, and they're all great. Uh, we just watched Jan Hicks today, oh, and um, so she came all the way from Hawaii. 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 Yeah. And she said she'd do it again and, next um, year. So. Yeah. So, anyway. Because you're on my list of people I need to hang out with more next year. So. Exactly. So, um, until tomorrow. Yeah. Um, 
we will um, say goodbye, and mm -hmm. we're going to be back as our regular... Um, with all the regular With segments. all the regular features. We've got some other stuff that came in the mail. Um, we've been stitching, believe it or not. So well, yeah, there we've will some be some. Off. There will be some whips. Are you opening those cute little yes, cards? Yes, look at these cute little cards. Oh, cards. aren't those cute? With the cute... Oh, oh they're all gosh. different. They're all freaking cute. Oh, my cute. God. Okay. All right. Okay. So it just keeps coming. What can we it say? It does. Uh, <sighs> thanks for good. sticking with us. Um, we hope you enjoyed. Yeah. And um, we will see you tomorrow for uh, episode, episode... 104. Episode 104. Um, until then, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye! Bye.